All right, I believe the frame rate issue should be solved now. I believe. I guess when I'm streaming Planet Zoo, I can't have the can't have the bitrate for the stream too high. I suppose we should be able to hop right into things here. So it's been a while since the last YouTube stream that I've done. So oh yeah, I forgot. I set my freaking Steam name to ttv.tv/twitch.tv/tv as a freaking meme. I forgot about that. Welcome, ttv.tv slash twitch.tv slash tv. My oh my. Anyway, it's been a while since we've hopped into into Planet Zoo, and I, uh, I've <laughs> taken a little bit of a break from things like this because I had a Smash tournament to organize and manage for a group called Fragapalooza. <laughs> but that happened this last weekend. That's done now. And now I'd like to get back into the swing of things with, like, my regularly scheduled kind of stuff. I did this one on hard, didn't I? And that one, like, freaking destroyed me. Yeah, so we did that one on medium. This one on hard. Do I want to keep doing ones on hard? It's been a little while. It has actually been a while since I played this because I've been busy with so many other things. And, uh, well, like, I'm tempted. I don't remember how to play this game. I should probably just do medium, shouldn't I? I should probably just do medium. It's probably the case. Alright, Panda Park, this is the last tutorial one. So I only did the a couple other tutorial ones last time, and uh, it's been a while. How long ago was that anyway? Panda Park is Bernard Goodwin's newest suit built from the ground up to celebrate the panda in all its forms. This park represents an unparalleled opportunity to show the world just how much the Goodwin Foundation knows about breeding animals on the cusp of endangerment. So don't squander it. Alrighty, also I was a little bit late to this stream today because I kind of had to wind up shipping a saliva sample of mine to geneticists in Finland to test for Marfan Syndrome. You can't make this up. <laughs> so I kind of raced down to FedEx, got it shipped out, came back here, tried to get my stream frantically set up, and here we are. I'm not actually as late as I thought I would be, but still, still a little late, but oh well, we're here now. I'm gonna completely forget how to play this game. Also, the mix-up controls with like the moving the camera around compared to Planet Coaster is gonna completely mess me up as I, as it did last time, as it always does. So I've only streamed this once before, so this is literally only my second time ever hopping into this game. I do quite like how pretty this game is, though. I do like that frame rate looking a little bit choppy. Should I move my cursor out of the way? Ah, pandas. Pandas. <laughs> They're my daughter's favorite animal. I really like the backgrounds here. <laughs> I think it's fair Instead of just being like next to nothing. An animal which has captured the public's uh. imagination. Is this is your first time hearing about this game, so it'll be interesting. Do you know about Planet Coaster by oh, chance, well, Undermise? That's the ceiling you ignore cats and dogs. Obviously. Also, what is your profile picture right now? Like, I can tell from the art style that it's something that you drew, <laughs> but like, is it one of the subway oh, the train? You know? Trainers, incredible oh, yeah, freaking that's being done clown in China work. and around the world, pandas are no longer endangered. Cool, <laughs> amazing. That's actually really cool. That's honestly, it. they're still considered vulnerable. So you don't know Planet Coaster? I'll say after. I'll mention it after this cutscene. Then and honored to be part of that conservation effort. Cool. This is a neat looking park, isn't it? This is it really though. speaks to our reputation. A reputation that you're well, frame rate looking a little choppy. Maintaining, gotcha, along gotcha. With all the uh, general maintaining too. I really can tell you how important the welfare of those. How important? Is. Oh wait, I can. <laughs> it is vitally important. I believe. The eyes of the world are on you, my friend. Pizza pen? Although, <laughs> perhaps more pressingly, <laughs> the eyes of Nancy are on you too. <laughs> <laughs> I, for I forgot there's like the full voice acting for all the tutorials in this game. Welcome to China. China. This is China. brand new brand celebration new. zoo. So new, in fact, that it's not quite finished. But we'll deal with that later. We First, got flamingos? Tour of the zoo. What's stopping them from flying away? <laughs> like, they could literally Obviously just leave here whenever they want. Are the main attraction for this zoo, I think they'd be at an indoor Lucky thing. For us. We have one which was born. I literally don't know the difference between ago. crocodiles and alligators. Like, Let's I know that have a look at it. Like, they exist in different areas. Is this a crocodile or an alligator? It's a crocodile. On, don't be cool. shy. Select the panda cub. I want to see the crocs first, is what I want to see. I just want to see these crocs. Anyway, 
Um, Planet Coaster came out in 2016. It was developed by Frontier, the same company that was responsible for Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 back in, like, 2004, I believe it was. So, while Atari essentially... Okay, so I guess that's the exhibit over there. While Atari kept, like, the brand name of Roller Coaster Tycoon and kind of made a mess of it, the people actually responsible for Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 made Planet Coaster. Yeah, the Crocs are just vibing over here. Look at them. <laughs> Look at them. Quite literally vibing out here. And Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 in, in 2004 had two expansions for it. There was one that allowed you to make water parks, and there was another one that allowed you to make zoos and exhibits. And I guess Frontier, a while back, was like, oh, we kind of made a freaking park zoo expansion for Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 back in 2004, so, uh, let's do it again. So, well, I guess this isn't an expansion this time. This is its own standalone game from Planet Coaster. It would have been neat if this was, like, an expansion onto Planet Coaster, like a DLC or something like that. That added more to it. But now, nah, this is its own standalone game this time. And this just came out last year, I believe. It came out, like, late 2019. So, the other expansion that Frontier made for Planet Coaster... Not Planet Coaster. Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 in 2004 was Water Parks. Is that gonna be their next project? Maybe? They have their park game. They now have a zoo game. Are they gonna have a water park game next? Because that's all they'll be missing from what they made for RCT3 back in 2004 after all. Yeah, we got a tiny croc. We got a big croc. Who's apparently 18 and a half years old. And this one over here who's bigger. Who's 16.7 years old apparently. He's just chilling. He's just chilling out here. Anyway. This is still a tutorial level. Because like I'm still very new to this game. Wait, select the exhibit. Do I have to select the walls? They are good boys, aren't they? Wait, what am I supposed to do? Da Zuhang. I can't pronounce these. Chinese pangolin is about to mature. I'm supposed to select that exhibit. I'm not sure how. Also, the names for a lot of, like, the food and drink places in Planet Coaster are used again in Planet Zoo. Like, a lot of the stuff carries over, like the pathing system, the guests and all that. A lot of the shops and stalls work the same way. Except instead of park rides, we've got zoo exhibits. Okay, literally, how do I select this one? Oh, look at the freaking pandas! Oh, it's so cute, though! Is that the sound pandas make? Oh my goodness, look at all of them in here. It seems very barren in here, like, there should be... I guess there's some bedding and stuff. Oh, oh, people can see through there! Oh, that's interesting! Yeah, they're so fluffy and adorable! How are you doing today? I can't zoom in, let me zoom- dang it! How are you doing today, though, Undermized? Um, how do I select this exhibit? I can select the walls. Giant panda, one alert. Edit barrier. Um, why do I have a one notification here? I don't see anything. Wait, what do you want me to do? Um, locate the giant panda habitat. Enter the giant panda animal camera. What's the giant panda animal camera? What's that? Uh, it gets a little better. Life has been hitting you hard. What, with like the whole quarantine plus like other things going on to add on to that sorry to hear about that but hopefully things you know good to hear that at least things are starting to go a bit better um i have no idea how to enter the camera here and if you ever need to talk about stuff i'll always be around i have like if i turn off my camera here i literally have no idea where camera is i have no idea emotional problems gotcha gotcha I have no idea where animal camera is. Literally not a clue. Um. But yeah, I can understand the stress of that. Um, where freaking... I'm so confused. About this. Enter giant panda animal camera. Do I have to select one of them and then get camera Let's view? On the camera to oh. Enter animal camera mode. What? This? No. Oh. oh <laughs> doesn't it just warm the cockles of your heart? So cute. The. Did you know that giant Let me out. pandas or Let me out of here. Melanoluca, he snooze, yes. are the only entirely herbivorous bears? They I did not know that. Up to 38 kilos of bamboo a day. <laughs> not that I did not surprising, know this. given that they'll spend up to 14 hours a day chomping away. 
I don't imagine this pretty cute. Fluff ball has that kind of appetite yet, though. What, the one I selected over there? Oh, just clip no. through one another, but ah well. I just got word from one of our keepers that a mm -hmm. sable antelope was placed into a habitat without going through quarantine first. And that they're During COVID-19? Quarantine the we'll sable antelope? To quarantine to stop the infection from spreading to the other animals. To do that, go to the highlighted habitat, find the infected animal, and then select them to bring up their information panel. Who's infected? Probably not you. Everything's green. I don't know what I'm looking for. Now, oh. Move and then transfer them into quarantine. Oh, I guess it I is you. I the quarantine facility in the zoo for you. Um. All right. So he's gonna be moved in a hot second. Is someone coming to box up this antelope? Maybe. Quarantine. He probably has COVID-19. This guy's not in a rush at all. Get him. He's going around the zoo without a face mask. Get him. Didn't put hand sanitizer on before entering the zoo. Wait, you're not the one to box him up? Oh, wait, maybe that doesn't happen until I click on the quarantine facility, which is here. Move to there. Oh, okay. Call the FBI. Get him out of here. Infection from spreading any further. We need to build a vest surgery so the antelope can be treated and then return to his habitat. I've already highlighted where I'd like you to build it. So why don't we head over there? Um, what am I building? Look at the highlighted area. Build a vet surgery. Is that in facilities? Uh-oh. What am I looking for here? Staff facilities? So I'm looking for a vet surgery. Can't see. Quarantine? I'm looking for vet surgery, right? Veterinary surgery. Aha! Uh -huh. So let's see here. In let's raise it up a little bit. Surgery, click on facilities, staff facilities, done. And then vet surgeries. I did it. Done. <laughs> Consider it done. That's it's gonna job. be floating a little bit, but who cares? Vet surgeries <laughs> play a very important role. Get them. Get them in. The oh, that's something else completely. Okay, animals. never mind. Once there's Wait. room for the antelope, the okay. vet will pick them up from quarantine and bring oh, them to the Oh, it's quarantine surgery. first. Get them into quarantine. <laughs> And yes, then treat diseases them. Diseases can spread through a habitat quite easily, especially if the water inside it isn't being cleaned regularly. Are you taking them to surgery now? Happens, I just got a report that one of our water treatment facilities has broken down. Get him in the there. Water in the flamingo and saltwater crocodile habitat. Get him in there. Dirty. Whoa, there's an actual inside here. I highlighted the water treatment facility what? for you. What? So you should go and check it out. What? Also, something that Planet Coaster did not have is insides of buildings like this. But this game has actual insides of buildings. Oh, wait, he's actually on the on the thing. Yeah, look at those results. Better look at him. Look at water treatment too. Click on the water treatment facility to bring up its information panel. Oh? What's wrong here? Yeah, the yes. details on this I are definitely real nice. I really like the art style, the kind of semi-cartoony thing. So that it ages well. Click call mechanic to get him to come over and fix it for us. Call mechanic. Done. My camera's kind so, of blocking just it. just to explain, water treatment facilities work in a similar manner to power sources. In Bring that box a radius of somewhere, whatever you're doing. Them. That means any body of water which is even partly within that radius will be cleaned automatically. Okay. Also, like power sources, if they get damaged, that radius of influence will shrink. Meaning that it might fix the stop thing. cleaning water sources which were only just within its reach. Hmm. So you gotta fix them. If you want to check how much of your zoo is covered by your water treatment facilities, then there's a heat map you can use to see the coverage. Range. That way, you can quickly heat map. spot problem areas and rectify the issue. I sure don't see a heat map. Good work. Now Where's the, the heat water map? Treatment facility is <laughs> I want to know. The water will be cleaned up in two shakes of a lamb's tail. It says you base range 60 meters. Power facilities, transport rides, spins, how do I see the heat map? And, I want to see it know, now that you mention it to me. Barriers. Now, I'll be honest. I'm I want to see the heat map. About that disease scare we had, so I think we should do some research into it. Doing research uh, into a disease can help prevent future outbreaks of it. And even if we do have an outbreak, it'll make the disease much less potent. I have literally no idea how to see this heat map. That's I all I care about right now. Research into border telosis. 
Disease research can be found in vet research. So head over to your research uh, center and get one of the vets researching it. Head over to my research center and get a vet researching it. How do I... Oh, so there's a thing here. I'm getting notifications. Um, Vet research. I'm starting to remember now. Bit by bit. Uh, You might need to scroll down to find... Bored de to lo what freaking something Where is it? Oh right there. Oh drag and drop a vet onto bordetellosis icon to start reaching researching it. Bam. Lovely job. Once cool. the research is complete, I expect we'll send that disease packing in no time. Neat. All right, let's get research into that disease. There's no research into COVID-19 though. A close run thing with those antelopes. <laughs> no research into that one. I see this map. If you hadn't got him into quarantine as quickly as you did, fast thinking there. We you had a told me to do it. Break of viral gastroenteritis here at Goodwin House. Although I like this. Luckily, this is cool. <laughs> that was just limited to me and my wife. Is there just the two gators? The gators are cool. <laughs> oh. Right. Now that we've got neat. all our urgent tasks in hand. Oh, that must be like a heat to thing. Focus on the guests and improving they like. their time in the park. You see, you can also do research into new and improved guest facilities, oh. transport rides, as well as new types of barriers. Look on the workshop building. Workshop. Um. I've highlighted the workshop for you. I see so that message there, on the chat over there, but not my one over here. View um, workshop. Even in the game, there's no chance to find the cure for COVID. Sure seems like. Wait, click on the workshop building and then... Where's the workshop building? What? What do you mean? Begin researching just a momento. That's one of the places that exists in... Uh, freaking... Wait, what? In Planet Coaster as well. It has this highlighted. Workshop 1. View mechanic research. And finally, oh. assign a mechanic to research souvenir oh. shops by dragging and dropping them onto it. I can't wait to see what they come up with. Where's souvenir shop? Oh, right here. Okay. So we'll Great. get another souvenir shop available that with that. Okay. Take a little while, so let's have a look at something else in the meantime. Okay. Because we've had some good news. Okay, the highlighted area. This is a really cool looking park. I like this. Adopt and place the gifted the giant pandas. Adopt more giant pandas. The authorities have given us three females to help with our breeding program. Okay. Even so, I'm sure you know how notoriously difficult it is to get pandas to breed, so we'll have to be patient. Our current so... giant panda habitat is full to the brim, but luckily we've already got another habitat ready to go. So we're making but another new one. move our new pandas in, they'll need to go through quarantine. Of course, make sure of they course. don't have the COVID. Can't do that make sure they don't have the Rona. Them. <laughs> So open up Animal Trading and go into the Animal Reward section. Um, Animal Trading. Have been online much on your Discord because things have been pretty messed up at the moment. Try to be more active when uh, sorted out though. Yeah, take as much time as you, as you need. Definitely no obligations there. there. Hope things manage to get sorted out for you. Undermised. It sucks when I hear friendos are, you know, not doing super well. Reward? What does this mean? What? Transfer to Animal Storage for all these? I suppose. Finally, hello, hello, how are you doing today? Storage to quarantine. Hello. To do that, <laughs> just select them in animal storage, um, then click send to zoo, and then click on send the quarantine to zoo. facility in the zoo. Don't worry, I've highlighted it for you so you can find it easily. It doesn't look highlighted to me. It sure doesn't. What do you mean? Where do I send them? <laughs> my oh my. How oh, are you doing meh today? Not feeling super well? Or such. Also, hot. one of these days, I'm a have to freaking... We still have to play like Civ at some point or something. That's what we better do. Um, freaking... What do you want me to do? In Trade Center. Sent to Zoo. Oh, just to... Oh, just to there, I guess. I guess we transfer them. Oh, because we had gotta send them to freaking quarantine first. Make sure... They don't have the Rona, or whatever the heck. <laughs> Send to zoo. Uh. Did I do the thing? Yeah, we gotta do the thing. Yeah, bring the pandas in there. Bring them in there. Is the thing. My goodness, look at all these stalls. Apple. What does that mean? 
What's the apple place? The keeper hut, apparently. Oh, he's just gonna walk through the railings. Was the thing. But yeah, I just not had that... That good of a day or something. This looks like an Atari game and you're not okay with it at all? This is a freaking Frontier game. That's why the people don't look scared. I mean, the clipping through the railings is a little bit sketchy. But, uh... <laughs> But at least the people are, like, nice and cartoony instead of, uh, you know, scary. But, <laughs> I mean, this looks like an art style that, like, Atari might go far in one of their wonky games. But, uh, no, Frontier made this, so you, like, look close to the animals and they're actually, like, good and stuff. Oh, look at the sprinkle! He's just enjoying the water! He's just enjoying it, all the people are, like, watching and stuff like that. Yeah, we're, <laughs> we'll shove the yin yang bears into the quarantine. Yes, we will. I think we only have the two crocs in here. Look, he's just chilling. He's just chilling out here. Look at that. Now, this is, this is a game made by freaking Atari's arch nemesis, Frontier. <laughs> right here. In Trade Center. Oh, so send to zoo. Um, send you to the quarantine facility. Make sure you don't have, like, the Rona or something. Quarantine. You should set up their new habitat so they feel at home in there. Okay. I'll also need you to bring over one of the male pandas. Essentially, uh, this is the game that came after Planet Coaster, Planet Zoo. Have much of a breeding program, are we? <laughs> so because on, for Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 in 2004, there was a expansion pack that added zoos, and I guess Frontier was like, hey, we made our amusement park sim game with Planet Coaster, and we made a kind of zoo like expansion pack back then for our one way back in 2004. Let's make a standalone game for the thing. Move. Wait, move him into the new panda habitat. Wait, who? What do you mean, move him into the new panda habitat? What do you mean? Uh, move one giant male panda into the new habitat. Oh, move one of them. One of them over here. Why is it that, like, all the chat is appearing on that screen over there, but my actual chat over here doesn't show everything? I'm gonna refresh this one. Because this is where I read it from. I guess I'll read it from this time. This has been kind of crap. You know that dude you work... Worked out with your perspective changed on him in a very negative way. Not sure how you feel about him anymore. Thought you knew the guy and now you're unsure. Mmm. I'm sorry to hear that. So I assume probably not gonna be working with him anymore. I'm sorry to hear about that. Just like got into an argument or something or heard some controversial opinions or some such. Did he tell you that Xenoblade Chronicles wasn't the best game of all time? No, I'm joking. Um, so we gotta move one of them over... Over there, move one giant male panda to a new habitat. Um, anyway, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. And when it comes to doing, like, workout stuff, though, we have been thinking about potentially doing that, like, within the Discord server, as I've mentioned before. Maybe, maybe as a Thursday thing. We'll have to... We'll have to see about that. Um, I gotta set up this new habitat, looks like. Because, like, personally, I myself cannot get motivated to work out on my own. Like, at all. I always need other people to do it with, essentially. Um, let's see here. So we gotta add a feeding station, add food enrichment, add toy enrichment, increase terrain welfare to 90%, increase plants welfare to 90%. Okay. Okay, let's see here. Terrain. I think we need an actual panda in there first to be able to see what, like, kind of stuff we need. Is a thing. Hopefully I don't miss any... Dang it, I'm still missing chat stuff. I'm just gonna straight up close this window. That's my chat. And then I'm gonna create a new pop-out chat. And hope that it... You know, actually... Shows me everything so that I can read what's happening. Like this. And then I'll put it there. Also, I just realized I have a hangnail on my finger. That is annoying. Ah, pull that out. That hurt. Um, okay, so now that there's a panda in there, we should be able to see, like, what kind of terrain stuff we need, right? Hold on. Hold on a hot second. Handful of specifics, but you need not elaborate on them. Hmm. So I assume that was just today, and that's why the day's pretty mad then. So we need toy enrichment, food enrichment. Let's see here. At a feeding station for the pandas. Let's see here. Hmm. Well, if you want to hop into any games and chill later to maybe help take your mind off things, I shall be around. Species. So that is Giant Panda. Giant Panda. Aha! Let's see here. So we want... Climbable Log? Bam! He doesn't like that. 
I did suck the giant panda, though. You're down, man. Hella down. It's nice to hear. Maybe after stream it a stream. Wah. Okay, they like that toy. Um, you want a freaking drum? Gotta leave for a meeting at 6.30, though, so we'll see what happens after that. Mm, I forget what the time difference between here and there is. Oh, we got one drum. How about one more? Bam! Look at that. But now we need food, though. Food and water. So, uh... I guess this isn't fresh water or something? It must be, though, but whatever. Two hours. I forget which way the two hours is, though. <laughs> Heck, maybe after a uh, two hours difference. I forget which way the two hours is different. I think you're two hours behind. So I think it's like it's 3.30 p.m. for me right now. Ahead of you by two hours. So 5.30 there right now. Feeding platform. East coast. So eastern time then. Because it's 3.30 for me right now. Food enrichment. Is this not freaking food for them? Can I... Is this not food? Hold on. 12 hour difference for you. Perfect 50%. Right around. Feeding stations. Does there need to be actual food put on here though? How does this work? How does it... We're getting no food enrichment from this. Does food actually need to be brought to here? I don't get it. Enrichment items? Food enrichment? Oh. Weird. Small fixed roller feeder. Bam. Apparently they like that. According to the thing. Let's put another one there. You accidentally woke up early. But yeah, I think, I think Eastern time is like, as you say, two hours ahead. So I think it's 5.30 there. So if you do want to hop into games and chill, probably after the meeting, because I'll probably be streaming until then. Tree scatter feeder. Bam, I'll put down one of those too. Habitat, let's see here. So we need plants, huh? Where's plants? That... Biome? What kind of biome do the pandas like, huh? Can I check? Wait. Can I check what type it needs? Environment. Biomes, temperate, continents, Asia. Okay. So, biome, temperate, continent, Asia. Okay, so we gotta put down some of these, huh? Poplar. It's such a poplar tree. The most popular out of all his friends. Sure, let's put down some things. That's what we do. Sweet. Sweet, you made a dull wave file that makes you want to destroy your headphones. Well, try not doing that, but hello, hello, Luca. That is uh, not something I thought I'd read today. Plants! That didn't help me at all. Um, no, not more of these. I need more plants, apparently. I need more plantage. Is that 93%? Plants and habitat. Plant isn't from the same environment as the animal. Oh, is that why it's at the... Remove this plant species. Okay. Um, left for two seconds, but we good now. Ah! So you might have missed stuff that I, stuff that I mentioned there. So, so if you're two hours ahead, then I assume, yes, we must plant more. We need more. Oh, they probably want some bamboo. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Anyway, I was just saying that if you're two hours ahead, then that would be like in an hour and I'll probably still be streaming by then. So if you do want to do some gaming and chill stuff, it'd probably be after that meeting thing we're about. How is this not getting up to freaking... Oh, do I need to get rid of all the ones that cause problems? Wait. Wait, plants is now at 30%? I set it to Asia and temperate. 
<laughs> I'm allergic to Asian temperate. The Sim Smash GBD sounds good to me. Those kinds of ones. I guess I'll put down some more of these. More of them. Wah. Hold on. Aha. Done. Okay, so as for terrain, let's see here. We need less grass short. We need more grass long. Grass long. Long grass. We need more of it, I think. Um, and hello, hello as well, JTAX. I'll leave my camera off while we're sorting this out. We need long grass. Wait, no, we need less long grass, more short grass. Oh, whoops. Easy to get these things mixed up. We need less long grass. Whoops. I remember now, it's those little pointers that need to go into like those areas. I remember. It's all coming back to me now. We need more short grass. And I'll keep doing more so that we get rid of that much long grass. Good news. Our what? new female pandas have been given a clean bill of health. Oh, they don't have the Rona? Move them into the new habitat so they can settle in. And I hope you've Did made their habitat as comfy as possible. Because animals will... It's not getting rid of the long grass. Happy. Is it because there's dialogue up there? No, let me put down my short grass. I'm still trying to do things here. No! Whatever. Well, it's not going to be perfect. But it's pretty darn close. <laughs> Mom, I made a very vulnerable OS in Python. Sounds like something I would have done in one of my classes. Let's see here. So they're in the quarantine. Been tracking down and fighting more really top players as of recent. Even going so far as to join two servers chock full of state top players. Guess who's beaten a large majority of them consistently? This guy? That's really cool to hear, Han. So you're continuing to improve yourself at more, at more Smash stuff. Yo, what are we gonna what are we gonna get you to freaking main min min, huh? <laughs> when are when are we gonna get that? But I'm glad to hear that your improvement's going well there at least. Give the link, but those get blocked. Oh yeah, the probably gets automatically. Blocked most likely. Click in the tick boxes to select the pandas and move them to the new habitat. Like this, move, and then we move them to here. Oh bless. Okay. I oh think be bless. Really happy in there. Fingers crossed we'll see some lovely new cubs sooner rather than later. Okay. Right. While they're being delivered, we'd better get on with something else. Oh, dear me. There's no ah, time come. to rest when you're running a zoo, <laughs> is there? Well. Well, unless you hit the pause button. Some of the names, though. Wait. Okay. I'm sorry, I should I be making fun of it. I told you all about work zones. I know. Work zones. They don't sound as interesting as the animals, but um, trust me. Need your results? Top 5 of PA. 100% people are already saying that you're unofficial top 10, top 15 of now. I think genuinely that you're better than half PR players. Get out there after quarantine. Is over. Mark your words. 1v1 me IRL. Easier said than done. No, I... <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't even play a whole lot of Smash anymore. Here and there. Get them in there. Get the pandas in there. do that... Go into the zoo section, then click on staff, and then work. Whenever people are, whenever people say that they're good at a game, I always like one v one me IRL. Just instinctively, I don't even think it through. I'm just like one v one me IRL. Bam, get them in there. Okay, so uh, but yeah, that's really cool to hear. I hope that that manages to all go swell for you. Hire and assign a work zone to one keeper. What? Okay, let's see here. You and your fancy ninja moves that are good, but don't feel like getting quite... Oh, I was thinking about the... Oh, we got a research complete. <laughs> I don't mind. I don't know why always... I don't know why 1v1 me IRL is just an instinctive go-to meme for me. <laughs> but it is. Thinking of leave at the moment, gotta snooze a little bit before class starts around 9. Rip, it's fun vibing with you. Already, already class is going on in August. Maybe summer stuff. Anyway, I appreciate you stopping by and hanging out under my eyes. Hope you have a... Hope you have a good sleep. Hope you have a good night since it's, you know, a big, you know, 12 hour time difference here. I'm dropping frames again. That, that's not good. That ain't good right there. Now, Hope you have a good night. Um, I'll create a new work zone here. By the way, if, if in the future you want like any more 
commission related work for thumbnails in the future i can always there's always stuff to do around there but if not and things are busy to set up your new i'm a uh, probably draw things myself <laughs> habitat gate staff room and keeper hut. oh my goodness this oh, is wonky and don't forget to but, name it something useful <laughs> if you Once ever done, just go ahead ever want some cash on the side later. with some work i'm always happy to supply work for thumbnail related stuff um wait let's see here your birthday's in four days well happy early birthday then luca that's coming up Got anything planned out for that? Creating a work zone. Work zones can be used to dramatically improve efficiency in the zoo and be critical for ensuring keepers look after habitats. A work zone is a collection of facilities that can be assigned to one or more staff to limit they, where they will work. Okay, so it basically tells them only work in that area. The zoo, you just forgot about it? That's like me every year. But I assume with quarantine, it makes it easy to, easy to forget about that. Um... Let's see, it can be created from Zoo Staff Work Zones page. <laughs> you forgot about your birthday too? And it, you remembered like just a little bit before it rolled around. And didn't I remember it? Like, and mention it? Didn't I do something or other? I don't remember if it was like an art or something. I don't remember what I did. I think I did something for it, didn't I? I've already forgotten. Oh yeah, it was a Smash compilation. I was about to say, I thought I did something. I completely forgot what it was. I was like, what did I do again? I know I did something. <laughs> I knew I was working on something because I remembered the date because I had it written down on a notepad on my phone because I was like, ah, I should at least know the B days of like all my mods and regulars and stuff like that. So if I hear it once, I'll write it down on a notepad on my phone. So I remembered that and I got to work on, work on that. But yeah, I already got what you wanted this year with your birthday money from last year. Oh, it's nice then. Speaking of Smash compilation, you have a capture card. Oh, what kind of capture card did you get? I have a couple ones. I Do I have my other one here still? Yeah, this was my original capture card, which wasn't wasn't the best, but it got the job done. This was, I'm dropping frames again. That sucks. Hopefully, the stream stays relatively stable. This is my original capture card, which wasn't the best, but it got the job done for a long time. My current capture card, I don't think I'll be able to pick it up and bring it up here far enough. I can grab my secondary camera. Show it. I can pick up camera number two, which is this right here, and turn it on. Um, there's my current capture card. It's very dusty. Holy crap. Currently, I use an Elgato HD60S, but my first capture card, which was my kind of, like, cheapo, easy-to-get one, was this Avermedia portable one, which I got on sale for, like, 80 Canadian or something like that, which is basically full-priced game kind of price. So it wasn't too bad. Wait, actually, not a capture card. Oh, you didn't get one? An SD card that you need for the capture card. You're told that you can use the SD card to film clips for a compilation. Wait, but you don't have a capture card, though. Oh, what? Like, you might... No idea how to do such things. I mean, you might be able to use the SD card to record clips for a compilation, considering that, like, Smash Ultimate is capable of converting, like, replays into, you know, actual footage, like, into actual video. I don't know if there's a way to get it out of the SD card and such. Uh, you mistook the capture card SD card? Yeah, an SD card would be like, if I can yoink this one from over here, for my Wii U. Um. Wah. SD card. <laughs> capture card? SD card. Now, I need to figure out how to get this back into my Wii U again. Um, uh, because it chills, like, right behind my, ah, laptop. Let's see here. Back in it goes like that. And then I'll close that up. Yeah, definitely a stark difference there. Or if it's in the Switch, it might be a micro SD card, which is just that, but smaller. Because I was about to say, if that was a capture card, that's way more exciting considering, like, capture cards. I wish were cheaper than they are, but oh well. Um, select create new work zone. Start adding facilities to the work zone by clicking on them or by using the multi-select tool. Click on a facility again to remove from the work zone. Name the work zone so it can be identified later. So, I'll add this. Oh, yeah, add this. And then add these to the work zone. Um, name the work zone so it can be identified later. Work zone 10, I guess. And, uh, work zone colors. Items that can be added to a work zone are colored in the analysis view. Green indicates that the facility is assigned to the currently selected work zone. Blue indicates that the facility is part of the selected work zone and another. This isn't necessarily an issue, but could indicate that the zones could be more efficiently set up. Mmm. So I guess this is probably set up with these ones too, most likely. Um, orange indicates that the facility is in another work zone, but not the currently selected one. 
Red indicates that the facility is not assigned to any work zone. This might be an issue if all staff are assigned to work zones, as there will be nobody looking after them. Hmm. But yeah, your thing you say is bro, tripod, iPad, easy. Yeah, I mean, pointing at the screen, I guess it gets the job done. It's a little bit sketchy, though. It can definitely be a little bit sketchy sketch. Staff can be assigned to any single work zone that has been created. This is done through the zoo staff page or the employment tab in the staff's info panel. Each staff member can be assigned to a work zone using the drop down menu. Note multiple staff can be assigned to a single work zone. Members of staff that are assigned to any work zone and what facilities those zones encompass can be seen in the zoo staff work zones page. Staff can be reassigned from this location. But yeah, I mean, at some point, if there's like a really good sale or something like that, or there's like some good used ones somewhere, you might be able to find a decent capture card for cheap. Heck, even the one that like I have here, that was my original one, like my original plan with it was probably to just like sell it off, but it could be nice to have a spare capture card around that's meant for portability. Like, especially if I'm going to an event like Fragapalooza in person and I don't want to move like my Elgato capture card and I just want to have something quick and easy for me to take. Or if for some reason I need a capture card, like some other thing, I do like having the spare one around. So I'm not selling mine off, but maybe somebody, <laughs> maybe there's somebody out there who would sell off like an old capture card of theirs for cheap. Like back when Marshall Monkey used to stream, I remember he would tell me that he just got like his capture cards. Like, used from people. Like, easy peasy. So, let's see. So, in this work zone, in this work zone, and another, in another work zone, not in any work zone. Okay. Now let's hire okay. A keeper and assign them Process is ridiculous for using the SD card, I imagine. Distracted by other goings on in the zoo. Go on, hire one. Hire, wait, hire what? What am I hiring? What am I hiring? Uh, a work zone to one keeper. So a keeper, huh? But yeah, it's above. You just don't feel like retyping it. Wait. Uh, didn't I read that already? Process is ridiculous for just using the SD card. Huh, what? Unless, unless once again, it's not showing me something in chat. Um. Again, my pop out chat isn't showing things. Hold on, I see a longer chat now. Does it not show me longer ones? If I select pop-out chat. It literally just straight up doesn't show me that one. What? Why is my chat broken? Like, that longer passage just straight up didn't show up for me. Hold on. So apparently my pop-out chat that I read from there only shows short messages. And if it's something longer, I have to look at this screen over here. So I'll refresh this page. So, this screen here. Hold on, let's look at this screen in that case. It's like, put SD card in switch, film, transport it to the card, move it from the switch, insert it into the laptop, create files of your replays, download those, put them into an editor. Jeez. I guess things that are longer than just a couple lines, it just straight up doesn't then, display in pop-out chat. Man, YouTube Live is perfect, isn't it? Tab. YouTube live streaming is just the best, huh? My goodness. Wait, what am I doing? Um, employment tab. At the bottom, YouTube you live streaming seems wonky, huh? Menu. Like, if YouTube actually committed to really flushing out their live streaming service, YouTube live streaming could like kill Twitch like easily. Honestly, considering like YouTube is a platform that freaking everybody's on anyway. All right, sounds good, huh? Sounds a okay, but anyway, YouTube is a platform that everybody's on anyway. When it comes to gaming live streaming, everybody has their own platform. Whether it's like Facebook Live, whether it used to be Mixer, uh, whether it's Twitch, whether it's YouTube Live. But what all these people who watch content have in common is that YouTube is where they go for videos. So if YouTube actually committed to flushing out their live streaming service to be like good, essentially, it could kill the other platforms like immediately. So. If that day ever comes, I'll become like a YouTube streamer instead of a Twitch streamer. But <laughs> until that day comes, I'm just gonna stick mostly to uh, being a Twitch streamer. Work zone 10, done. Now that we've got cool. our lovely new just a memento shop design. Just a memento shop design. Near the zoo's exit. That way, the zoo's guests won't miss it on their way out, and we won't oh. miss out on their money. Oh, so we put a souvenir place right beside the exit. That's an interesting idea. Guest facilities. 
uh, merchandise and find just a memento. Ah! Place it next to the exit, you say. Oh. Look at this. Seems like there's a whole lot more pre-built shells for shops in this game than there was in... Whoa. In Planet Coaster. What? Do I have to literally raise this up a bit? I don't want to though. Fine. Oh, that's ever so wonderful. Oh, that's ever so wonderful. Anyway, I'm just off for a moment, but I'm sure I'll have some more jobs for you to look at shortly. Okay. This is a very cool looking park, isn't it? Oh, those pandas look just adorable. I haven't actually looked at them for a while. I can see why people keep foolishly forgetting that they're wild bears. <laughs> And good work Hi. on that new gift shop branding. Just a memento. <laughs> Very clever. Much better than our old overpriced oh, gifts branding. Overpriced I'm gifts all for branding. Truth in advertising, but it was perhaps a little <laughs> on the nose. Truth in advertising. Huh. Back as promised. Right. I'd like you to increase the number of different species in the zoo. Now, uh -oh. you can find out what species are already in your zoo by going so into the So, we gotta extend, like, one of these ways, maybe? The animals area. And if you're wondering how you're going to fit them all in, then mixed species habitats are a great way to save space and create oh? interesting habitats. Mixed species habitats? Just make sure to check the zoopedia to find out... Oh, these are smaller. These are probably alligators in instead of crocs. E.g., don't mix lions with antelopes. Gariel. I've literally never heard of that species. Huh. Interesting. Whatever they are, they're clearly related to crocs and alligators. That species is clearly related to those ones, at least. We have at least 18 species in the zoo. So, like, what mixed habitats can I potentially create? 18 species, huh? Animals. Oh, we have a lot of things already, though. I'm not gonna remember what I have and don't have already. <laughs> I'm not going to remember. Oh, contraceptives. I was like, what is this? I guess we don't want them to reproduce anymore. Why is it that the sliders are moving a little bit as I scroll? That's weird. That's very strange. Um, Alright, so I have no idea. What don't I have? Wait. Okay, animal market. Um, Do we have any wolves? I don't know if I'd be able to put them into anything. Saltwater crocodile. Can I put this into one of the, like, croc habitats? Do I have any saltwater crocodiles? Those count as, oh, these are just straight up saltwater crocodiles. Okay. Dang. Dang, man. I don't know why these guys don't just fly off and, uh, you know, I guess they just chill in here. You'd think that they'd be at an indoor thing. So that they wouldn't fly off, but I guess you don't have to worry about that. Um, so let's see here. I could always make a wolf exhibit. This animal is being adopted for cash. It cannot be released into the wild. Okay. Um, do I have red pandas? Do I have then? Um, did YouTube recommend this? Sure, you guess. Have you ever seen any... Any planet zoo before? Hello, hello, Brit. Um, let's see here. Do I have red pandas? I do already. I apparently need 18 different species. No, but it looks fun. Do you know Planet Coaster by chance? By chance, know that because this is kind of the game that came after that. Um, I have no idea what I don't have. I wish that there was like a little icon that shows me like what I have and don't have. But yeah, gonna say it looks familiar. Yeah, so the company who made Planet Coaster Frontier released this game just late last year, which uses, like, the same engine and, 
you know, same kind of guests, same pathing systems, but instead of amusement parks, it's zoos. And such. And I, uh, <laughs> need to figure out what species I don't have already, because I need three more kinds. I must figure it out here. Let's see. Yeah, so Frontier in 2004 with Rollercoaster Tycoon 3 created two expansions for it, being soaked in wild, that added water parks and zoos respectively, essentially. So I guess after Planet Coaster wound up doing really well for itself, Frontier was like, hey, back when we made RCT3, we uh, made a zoo expansion. So, uh, there's, <laughs> let's just make a game about that again. RCT2 for life, RCT2 is so good. That was really good. Also, speaking of RCT, the reason why you were recommended this video might have been because you potentially saw my, like, history video on the Royal Crystal Tycoon series. Maybe, maybe. Because I've had uh, several people come to these streams before that are like, Wait, you're the one who made that video? I'm like, yeah, that's probably why YouTube recommended it. <laughs> I recommended the stream, at least. What don't I have? I have no idea. Do we have any p files? I have no idea. This looks neat too, you'll check it out. I'm still like learning it. This is the third tutorial park. I'm still learning what the heck I'm even doing here. Do I have any pee fouls? Do we? I guess not. Can I potentially put them into any existing exhibits that we have like mixed animal exhibits? Can I maybe? Let's see here. Um. Should I... Maybe I will just... Sure, let's just adopt. Sure. Waiting in Trade Center. Um... Sure, let's get two male ones that we don't have to worry about them reproducing. I suppose. This... My freaking antelope ate guest food? What, did somebody throw food in there? How did that happen? Do I need to send a vet here now or something? What do I do? What do I do about that? I don't get it. You walk. Uh, yeah, take him to quarantine. <laughs> take him away. You don't want him to get the Rona. Look, nobody here is wearing face masks. Unbelievable. <laughs> Did somebody throw their freaking food in? Unbelievable. But yeah, do you have goals or achievements they have to accomplish like an RCT? Yes. Indeed they do. It's very much in the format of Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 or Planet Coaster, where there's like the three star levels. Like this is all mostly just tutorial stuff. I lost a species? This was at 15 before. What? Yeah, what? Also, where was the dudes that I just got? So, sent to zoo in like... Where do I want to send them? I probably shouldn't send them into the freaking croc habitat. Uh, where do the pea fowls want to go? Um, maybe into there? They'd probably be okay with that, right? Right? This is antelopes over here, right? Um... Hold on. <laughs> Where would we, where would be good for this potentially? What is this? Uh, Chinese pangolin? Related to an antelope maybe? I'm not sure. How long have you been playing? Do you play other games as well? This is only my second session doing this. And I've been doing this session for almost an hour now. Uh, like this is only my second time hopping into this game, so I'm not like super familiar with this. I'm trying to get back into like my regular Monday schedule of like doing alternating streams of Planet Coaster and Planet Zoo, methinks. But yeah, I do a lot of playthrough games on this channel. Most of the streaming that I do is on my Twitch channel instead of YouTube channel. But for Planet Coaster and Planet Zoo, I figured that I'd do it on this channel. Now that probably most of the people around my channel know it for my Roller Crystal Tycoon history video that has now surpassed 250,000 views, which is freaking insane. So it seems like most of the people around this channel now know it for that. So I was like, eh, let's try out YouTube streams of Planet Coaster and Planet Zoo since that's sort of related to RCT. So uh, it makes sense for like my YouTube channel to be doing that. And then like my other playthrough stuff is done on, <laughs> done on Twitch, I suppose. And I appreciate the sub. I appreciate that. I have no idea where to put these freaking pee fowls though. I have no idea like what environment would be best for them. Maybe the same thing as the antelopes over- not the freaking- whatever it was over here. I've completely forgotten. 
quarantine passed, ready to leave. Oh. Um, can I send you back to your freaking... You ate guest food too, what? Wait, or is that the same? Oh, it's the same one. How do I send you back now? <laughs> How do I send you back? I think by the time you get back, there's going to be a couple pee fouls in your freaking... Uh, thingamabob. In your exhibit, methinks. Um, yeah, it is the antelope thing. Alright, well, um, ready to leave. How do I move you out? Like, if I turn off my camera, my move thing is blocked. Um, I don't get it. Oh, move right here. Wait, no, that's a facility. Dang it. Favorite game I've played this year? Probably Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. I haven't even beaten that yet. Hold on, how do I? Oh, select. Oh. Back to original habitat. Okay, I get it now. I get it now. Potentially Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. But, like, I'm currently pushing through that. I'm not even through it yet. I've had a few months, but that game's insanely long. And I kind of had to take a break from streaming stuff for a while. Because I was preparing for a tournament that happened this last weekend for a group called Fragapalooza that I was hosting and streaming a Smash tournament for. But now that that's over, I don't have to worry about that stress anymore. I'm getting back into the swing of things here, and I'll be... Finally be able to play stuff like that more again. Man, by the time this antelope gets back, he's gonna be like, what are these guys doing in my freaking exhibit? When did they get here? What happened? What did I do to deserve this? Anyway, um, so we're at 15 species. I don't know how I lost species. I have no idea how that happened. But, uh, hold on. What else don't I have? I don't think I have any wolves. I could make a new exhibit just for them. Is what I could do. Um, Proghorn Antelope? Um, we need a bunch of different species here. But yeah, not much of a gamer, we're trying to get into it more. Currently playing Animal Crossing and Half-Life 2. I've heard good things about Half-Life 2. I started doing a playthrough of Animal Crossing New Horizons as like my first Animal Crossing game I've ever played. But like, my parts of that are so far a few in between. I think I've streamed it and currently have 14 parts streamed it 14 times like one part per for each day so i think i'm currently 14 in game days in i think i haven't played it since the summer update i've been meaning to for a long time to feature like the new content of like the summer update and being able to like swim and stuff but uh i kind of still haven't gotten around to that so there's that i have so many playthroughs going on right now it's relaxing not much to it I do wish that it was faster to be able to do certain things. I think that's one of the big reasons I haven't been able to get into it as much as I much as I can. Like, with limited inventory space, I won't have too many materials on my person at once. So, I'll, like, if I need to craft something, I'll go to my house. I'll go inside, loading zone, grab materials, go outside, loading zone, go to my freaking workbench thing, craft it. Then I need to get rid of my excess materials, so I go back into the house, loading zone, drop off my excess materials, go back outside, loading zone, and now I finally have the one item that I could have had, like, forever ago. So I do wish that things were a bit more convenient in that way, where I could just, like, if I want to make something fast, I'd just be able to. I, uh, you can clearly get out of here. You could just walk up this slope and leave. But, uh, sure. Just no I assume that's no feeding the animals. Most likely. Okay. <laughs> I could make a freaking wolf exhibit. Is what I could do. What do they need? He's social distancing. He doesn't want to leave. He doesn't want to risk getting the Rona. Yeah, he's out of here. He's got to keep a couple meters of distance from these nerds over here. Okay, I could just make a straight-up new exhibit, maybe. There's a lot of trees over here. Okay, so that's the park boundaries. Wait, so, uh... I can move these, right? Okay, I can. Okay, I can. So I can get rid of a whole bunch of them if need be. So I could just make a straight-up new exhibit and put, like, wolves in it or something. Or... Maybe we can... Exhibit trading. We can get, like, one of the tiny exhibit things. Just as an easy way to get more, get more species. Okay, where is the facilities? Let's see here. Small animal exhibits. Here, we could get like two, like right here. I don't know why I'm not allowed to place it like right there, but uh. Oh, this is like the perfect little spot for a small animal exhibit, isn't it? Oh, 
Oh, that's like perfect. Oh, cool. Okay, so what small animals do I not have? Hold on. Wait, how do I check my current ones? Wait, the zoo. Hold on, let's see here. Um, let's see here. So I guess we have a rattlesnake. We have a poison frog. We have a giant tiger land snail. We have a hairy scorpion. And we got these new ones. I'm probably not going to remember that, but uh, let's see here. What don't we have? We probably don't have a yellow anaconda. I don't think. Titan beetle. His name's Pablo. Uh, there's Carlos as well. <laughs> we get freaking Carlos the Titan beetle. My oh my. Oh, there's some cool things here, isn't there? Interesting. Oh, there's lots of cool things. Interesting. I think we gotta get Pablo. I think Pablo. We're gonna adopt Pablo. <laughs> We're adopting him. Pablo, this is your place now. Enjoy. That will increase my species count, right? Oh, and it went up by an extra one. I guess the one that was out briefly was like in quarantine or something? Um, exhibit. Let's see here. We need to fix your climate. Oh, let's see here. So temperature needs to be up? Yes, temperature needs to be up. Cool. So now that's better for you. Keeper cannot reach exhibit, possibly due to your work zone setup. What? What you mean? Exhibit has no keepers assigned or free to visit. Oh, over here. Um, how do I go to work zones again? Or, what if I just hire another keeper? Whoa, 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 whoa wait. So that's in zoo, and then... Staff, keeper, hire a keeper, and then I can select you, maybe. Uh -huh. And then, wait, employment. Oh, I guess I can put you on the same work zone. Work zone manager. Um, work zone 10, edit work zone. And then we'll add these to the work zones, done. And we got another keeper in it now. Cool, okay. Neat. Um, okay, what else do we need? Exhibit, let's see here. So there's a layout at 40%. Layout. Oh, but we need like more research in order to get that. We'll figure it out later. We need just one more other species. So let's see here. What else do I probably not have? I don't think we have anything like this, do we? Sure, let's do it. Adopt. I'm sure Bam. you know by now there, how to done. make your animals happy. So you mm. best get that sorted before the inspector gets you. The inspector? Sorry. Did I not mention there was an inspector coming? This needs to go up a little bit. Oh dear. We need temperature up. Okay. Now it's the temperature that this dude likes. Okay, cool. Perfect. Um, reach the average habitat species overall welfare of 90%. Dang it, I gotta do research in order to get this stuff up. The layout. Dang it. Enrichment level one, not research. Dang it, so I need to research like Titan beetles and uh, Mexican red knee tarantulas, huh? Dang. Okay, how do I do that? Vet research. Oh. Oh, we researched a disease that is not the Rona. Hold on. Let's see here. So we gotta research these things so we can get the enrichment levels up. Um, where's the spooder? I don't see the spooter here. I don't see spooter research. Wait, no, right there. I meant beetle. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> That's what I meant all along. Oh, it's right there. Research the beetle. Research it. I can work on the other habitats right now. Once that research is done, I'll be able to create further enrichment levels, probably. What about this area over here? Um, cleanliness barrier status. Terrain. Whoa, 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 wait. Let me select a panda. That's what we do. Um, so let's see. Terrain is at 90%. Yeah, they need less long grass. As I was trying to do way earlier. So grass short. Can I take away some of the long grass? Can I do that? Make them like their areas more? Take away the long grass. They've got way too much long grass in here. 
Where is the rest of this long grass? There it is. Okay. Okay, that's fine now. So let's see here. Let's just see. So everything's at 100% there. What about other species? What about some other ones? What is this exhibit over here? Oh. Okay, let's see here. Enrichment. Toy enrichment. What is this species? Japanese? But I can't even pronounce these things. I'm so sorry. Um, let's see here. Habitat. Filters. Species. No longer giant panda, but instead, Japanese whatever the heck. Block of frozen fruit. Oh, that's, uh, we need toy enrichment for them. Gift box. Loot boxes. Surprise factor. <laughs> As EA would say. Aha, look at this. Balls. Um, small ice ball? Bam! Look at that. And then we can get, like, a food enrichment thing. Block of frozen fruit. Bam! Look at that. Um, what? Oh, that was just them bringing a species back. Or, not species back. One of the, one of the animals back. Okay, at first I was like, what's going on over there? So let's see here. In this area, habitat. Terrain, huh? So we, uh... Why am I getting a call right now? I'm literally getting a phone call. Hello, hello, Kraken. How are you doing today? Hello, hello. An unknown number is calling me. I've had, like, similar numbers bothering me for the past week, non-stop. And I don't know why. Like, I even had one text me once and say, Who is this? And I responded with, I'm Rick Harrison, and this is my pawn shop. But, like, it just kind of ended there. So, this animal needs more snow? Really? Is this a, does this keep it cool? Cooler, okay, so we should be able to put snow over here in that case. Snow way, man. I gotta select another one of you so I can see the uh, terrain thing. I gotta put snow, that's interesting. Wah, snow. I'm surprised that you guys need snow. I'm very surprised that you guys want snow. There. I might need to put down another cooler, though. Hold on. Habitat. Yeah, because we're losing snow. Heaters and coolers. Another one. Bam, right there. Stay cold. We should still have enough snow, but I mean... Terrain. This is the snow area now. You have a song called Baka Mite stuck in your head right now? I've never heard of it. I'm sorry to say. Um, we got correct amounts of rock, apparently. Okay, cool. Quite literally cool. Hopefully that'll stay cool now. I'm surprised that they need snow. Okay. Enough shelter to cover all animals. I want more shelter, so I put a small one in the snowy area. Um, habitat, that would be in there, I suppose. Uh, it's translated to what an idiot. Also, for some reason, that line is not appearing in my... In my chat that I'm actually looking at like I have my chat right there that I actually read off of and then there's a chat over here That's just as part of like the kind of studio manager thing And for some reason certain messages including that one don't appear over there So if I miss something it's because it literally didn't appear for me because Man YouTube live streaming is perfect. Let me tell you Good thing I caught that just barely Okay, so we got... Oh, dang it, it's still not enough hard shelter? Are you kidding me? Um, what kind of plants do they want? Um, continents Asia from taiga and temperate. So, temperate and... Um... Taiga. Can add stuff from... Oh, that tree's big. Man, music of Planet Coaster and Planet Zoo is freaking legendary. With how relaxing it is. What? Do trees not count as plants? Do they not? They want more plants? 1% more. You need a lot of plants, don't you? Oh my goodness, we didn't even get another percent off of that just now. 
This isn't helping? You what? What do you want from me? Get that up higher. What you want? RPG Maker MZ comes out in 10 days. Oh, nice. I think I've only ever worked with MV before. I think that was the version that we used. I don't quite remember. My goodness, what do you guys want? What a big poplar tree in the snowy area? My goodness, that didn't help at all. This is doing nothing to that percentage. Um, this should be what they want, right? This type of plants? Right? Surely? It's not helping at all. Is there anything else that... Okay. Alright, so those are things that... They... Oh! It, that's the only thing I was bringing down percentage, was stuff that wasn't supposed to be there. Okay. Um, social. Um, okay. That's mostly fine. Alright. Let's see. Let's see here. We're at 87% for the total species happiness right now. But research is complete. Cool. So, can I now add more enrichment things here? To make these dudes happier. My beetle and my spooter. Can I maybe do that? Let's see here. Um, I don't know why it's telling me a 1 here. Oh, I didn't set the humidity. But like, okay. That's fine then. Alright, so layout. Wait, it's still not research? Are you kidding me? You what? Do I have to research it more? Hold on, yeah, what? Um, for humidity, it can go up a little bit more. But yeah, two days still very special day. What's happening in two days? Um, layout. Oh, we can do enrichment level one for it at least. I still gotta research that beetle more though. Is the thing. Um, so that's a couple. We were actually just talking about birthdays earlier this stream. <laughs> Interestingly enough, but happy early birthday, Kraken. Let's see here. Oh, because the research for that is still going on, I guess. Wait. Yeah, we didn't even get to the first level yet. We're working on it right now. Okay. <laughs> this antelope just has to live with the peafowls now. Um, let's see here. Nutrition? Wait. Nutrition. Last meal quality. Can I increase the meal quality just in this thing in general? Can I select the exhibit? Man, I love the music. Um, how do I increase meal quality? I know that there is like a thing for this. I have no idea where it is though. Not a clue. You want a little bit less coverage? Happier now? Now that you're less covered? Okay, cool. I know how happy these dudes are gonna be. Species food enrichment? Let's see here. So, habitat. Um, for... What are they? Indian peafowl. Okay. Species. Indian peafowl. Species food enrichment. Feeding set. Oh, enrichment like this. This is probably what it wants, right? Bam! Look at that. And I can add like a toy, maybe. Obstructed. You walk. Bam! Look at that. Yeah, last meal quality could definitely go up. But, like, how? Where? How do I select that? Straight up, how do I do that? Oh. Oh, I can only do grade one food quality, though?
Um, where was that food menu that I was just in for these other ones? Um, I just had that open. Um, yo, freaking, where was that food menu? I just saw it a second ago. I wanted to increase food quality. Dang it. Where was it? I don't understand. I would like to increase your food quality. But like, I have no idea where the heck it is. Well, why is my camera moving like this? I don't get it. I don't understand. Where is the thing for food? How did I get there? Um, I'm so confused. Also, I'm sorry, but I cannot read that. I have no idea how to. Um, I have literally no idea how to increase that meal quality. I'm checking every single tab here. Um, was it in here? Hello from India. Is that what that says? Well, hello, hello. Also, welcome as well, low hit. Oh, so here. Oh, so it was in the... Wait, but where's the... It's snowing, apparently. Wait, but how do I select the antelope, though? I can only select the peafowls. View animal management. Wait. Animals. Oh, like this. Oh, but I might have to do some more research for more food quality or something. Oh, the snow is interesting. Might have to wait for the snow to pass up before, before we can fix the terrain and such. It's so dark. How do I set it back to day? Usually it'd be a button down here for, for Planet Coaster at least. Um, free log look? I don't get it. I don't get it. I appreciate the subscription as well. Um, hold on. You yeah, what? How do I make it bright out so I can see things? That's pretty pretty though. Yeah, I figured it probably wasn't wasn't from you. But I noticed in the alert box. Subscription anyway, so I figured I'd just chill it on the sprinkler. So I figured I'd say thanks for that. But yeah, I have no idea how to read that all. I apologize. I can read English and German, and that is it. Man, that's great, isn't it? I do wish that I could make it... Oh, we've got undo and redo. That's neat. Um, is there anything specifically that they want? Terrain. Like, I assume terrain's gonna be way down because it's currently snowing. Yeah. Yep. I think we literally need to just wait for the snow to end before we can do a whole bunch else. So I'm gonna fast forward it. As pretty as the snow is. I need it to let up. Get that snow to start melting. That's what we need. There we go. There we go. So, what other terrain do you maybe want? Let's see here. And hello, hello, Samurai. How are you doing today? Hello! We need less soil. We need less rock. We need more sand, apparently. Um, sand. So we can take away some of the rock here, maybe. Sweet. Then we got our soil levels down. Yeah, less rock. Place it with some sand. This is what we do. Doing well, just Roxy on your day off. Nice. Always nice to have a day off here and there. I need to get rid of some more of this rock. Perfect. Perfect, man. Okay, what else might they need? 
Um, maybe a little bit more plants. Um, oh, we can just remove some of the freaking- Ah! Ah, I think all we need to do is remove some of the things that aren't fitting for this. Remove this plant species. Wait. Oh, but now we need more plants, though. Now we need a whole bunch more. I assume that roughly- I assume all the emotes roughly translates to stay safe during COVID, use hand sanitizer, and wash your hands, and stuff like that. I assume so. Gotta stay safe and also tropical, temperate, aquatic, Asia, huh? Let's see here. Tropical, temperate, aquatic. So we can also have... That's biomes. So there's temperate, so we can also have aquatic and tropical. Aquatic and tropical can go into there. Okay. Yeah, maybe they'll like some things like this a bit more. Look at that. Easy peasy. Emojis, the universal language we could all understand. Yes. Yes, indeed we do. Speaking of being safe during COVID, before this stream started, I kind of went to FedEx to go ship off a saliva sample of mine to Finland to geneticists there to test me for Marfan syndrome to see if I have that. I probably don't, but there's a chance that I do, so we'll see. We'll see what happens there. If I do, it means I'm gonna have to, like, be aware that I could potentially have heart problems. So hopefully that's not the case. What else are we missing here? We just need a food enrichment thing. And I made sure to wear my mask and stay safe and stuff like that. And almost everybody there was wearing masks too. Not everybody, surprisingly. There were some staff that were there as I was shipping it out that, that weren't wearing masks. So food enrichment, huh? What's the species name? Gariel, huh? <laughs> My goodness, I've literally never heard of that name before. All I know is that they must be in like the kind of croc alligator kind of family of species. Um, so let's see here. So, habitat enrichment. So they need food enrichment, right? Yeah. So, species. They are... Gariel. Ah, freaking pumpkins. Bam! We'll put a couple down. Cool. Are we there yet? 88% out of 90%. My oh my. Who else wants some help? What about my actual crocs over here? Crocodiles, I know. Um, they need social. They have like a single percent of space apparently. They could use that extra. Toy enrichment, huh? We need toy enrichment, so they, I believe, are saltwater crocodiles, I think? Can they just use the same thing, because they're related? Oh wait, that's food enrichment. <laughs> like, it's gotta be similar to the gharials anyway, because they're like similar species, or not. Small ball. Or not! Alright, let's see what specifically they want then. Species. So that'll be down at S, Looks right? Like you've got oh! Humming away nicely. Well done. Apparently they're different enough that... Ooh, well. Okay. It there. Seems that with our new pandas and other species, cool. We've attracted lots and lots Neat. of new guests. Prove Let's the zoo for your guests. Sure those guests are kept happy. That means making sure they have great views of the animals, lots of places to buy food and drink and... I do like the look of the animals of this game. We've never seen a croc play with a small ball. I don't think I've ever seen a croc playing with any toy. Though I haven't been to like a zoo in forever. I'm pretty sure we have a decent zoo around this city, but like I haven't been there in forever. Is the thing. Okay. As long as you remember to pay attention to what the guests are thinking, you'll soon have a handle on what everyone wants. Okay. So, open the guest needs view mode. Oh, here's heat maps. Oh, I was looking for heat maps earlier. So there's different heat maps. Interesting. The zoo looks beautiful. Yeah, that's what happens when you <laughs> go into a tutorial park instead of leaving it things up to me for me to create myself. Because there's no way I would make something like this. I wish I could. I mean, this is only my second time ever playing this game. Is the thing. Okay. So place a chief beef. 
There's a few guests that aren't as happy over here. Um... So let's see here. I do like how it uses like the same facility names as Planet Coaster. So is this with a chief beef inside? Oi. Maybe they'll be a little bit happier over here if they've got some food. Wait, but that's the perfect place for an exhibit too, isn't it? Is there a better place I can put this? Maybe right at the edge. If I do need to make another exhibit for this tutorial, it'd be perfect to cram one in there. Mm, tasty. Place of cosmic cow milkshakes. Um, cosmic cow milkshakes. I guess this is just a block without a shell, which is a little bit saddening, but whatever. Um, place an information center. Information center. They're a good place for. Can I? Maybe I'll turn this off, actually. Information center. Let's put one there. Uh, place a toilet block. Facilities without power. Well, it sucks to be that facility, I guess. Toilets. Um. Erm. Cool. Place five bins, place five benches. Is it in nature? Nope, it's not like Planet Coaster with it in that. Um, is it also in facilities? Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. Let's put down a whole bunch of these, I guess. One, two, three. Wah. Man, I love the music of this game. Four, five. Cool. Benches. Man, I'm gonna really need to add like the full soundtrack of this game to my phone playlist, honestly. Oh, sounds cool. like the inspector's almost here. Now, oh, no. I fully expect you to pass with flying colors. Receive zoo so inspection report with an overall star exchange rating exchange of 2.5. mucking out the pandas. Is this a thing that doesn't have power? I have no idea. So where's the inspector? Oh, here he is. Oh, here she is. Okay. So they're going to inspect the... It looks like I can go into this view mode. Interesting. Sounds like something you'd hear in a movie. What, the inspector's here? Quick, we need a good rating. The inspector's here. He's going to inspect our food and stuff. What, what was the inspector's name? Or that one food critic from Ratatouille. I forget what his name was. Oh, it was Ego. The freaking Ego is coming. Or whatever it was. Something like that. I haven't seen that movie in a long time. All right. Let's look at the camera on this person who's going to inspect everything. Wait, is the camera going to be stuck here? Orbit. Oh. Go. Go inspect those things. You do it. Man, look at the... Holy crap. Look at the freaking backgrounds. Hold on. I never took the time to appreciate, like... What's in the distance there? This game just like Planet Coaster been dealt with immense passing. Love it so much. Music be so nice though. I just wish that Q and E was still rotating camera instead of it now being up and down, unlike Planet Coaster, which always throws me off. Like, I love the music of Planet Coaster and Planet Zoo. Also, like there's so many games of this kind of of this kind of nature, I guess, where the background is just like nothing there. But like my goodness. That is actually really cool. Okay, freaking play it again. Play. One more time. Guest camera. Orbit. Let's go. Let's go, inspector. So you're gonna examine, like, the saltwater crocodiles, I think. Are you inspecting them? You just kind of walked by. You're not even gonna write anything down on your little clipboard you brought. Okay. Okay, well. <laughs> Away you go, I guess. Because one glance is all she needs, and she knows. She knows everything. She doesn't even need to look closely. She just glances by, and she knows all there is to know with her all-seeing eyes. Hoyle? Oh, now she's inspecting. She's inspecting the pandas. Oh, this freaking family group just freaking surrounded her while she's writing things down. She's like, formed a tight group around her. You shall never escape. Until when you did. 
I'm sad that the music isn't here anymore. Where are you going? Do you go to inspect there first? Are you going back to the saltwater crocodiles to inspect them now? I swear. Oh, now you're inspect- You went by these guys earlier. Why didn't you inspect them earlier? I don't get it. Are you gonna- Let me guess, you're gonna examine the crocodiles now? Maybe. Okay, now she's inspecting the crocodiles. If she would've gone by the crocs a second time, I was about to lose my mind. <laughs> I was about to go crazy out here. My oh my, now it's raining. Instead of snowing. My how the seasons change fast. What is happening with this fountain over here? Ye what? Is that intentional? That is a little bit wonky. Well, man, the rain is actually so pretty in this. Holy crap. This is actually gorgeous though. Like we'd be able to admire it more if the game wasn't in super speed right now. But this is actually gorgeous. My goodness. It's bootyful. Go. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Look at the super sanic speed. Let's go. I think she has one more inspection. I think she had five. I don't remember if it was six instead. What are you gonna inspect last? What was that place called? Found a thing is because of the sped up time. Mmm. Makes sense. The laws of time are mine to control. You can inspect my multi species one over here. I guess so. I suppose you will. Is that it? We got freaking five stars and everything. And now you're leaving zoo. Cool. Goodness. You know, I Panda really Park. can't believe just how much Neat. you've come on during our time together. Wow, big stretch. My arms are tired. Bernie's got a keen eye for oh. <laughs> And speaking of Bernie, he's not finished with you yet. Oh. He's got a new job for you in But the tutorials Canada. are done. I get hey, that's my country. Pack a warm coat. Oh, it's actually not that cold here. It's been well, unless it's winter, you. then it gets and really I'm cold sure here. We'll meet again, but, in the meantime, but like, good luck. In my part of Canada, the summers are too hot and the winters are too cold. And it sucks because my car, my heat breaks every winter. The and the, the AC breaks every summer. Real to the hard work and this is typically what I wear when I drive. So when I went to FedEx earlier to ship off that saliva sample, I, uh... I was kind of overheating. Although, I probably should have taken this off. It's hard to tell with the pandas. So, I mean. They're so uh, <laughs> enigmatic. Now, I'm told that Linlin's quite the character, though. Who's oh, that? She's really been a hit with a visitor. The freaking sister of Min Min from Man Arms and Smash Boney. Ultimate. <laughs> and Man, it's so pretty. Crossed, we might even be able to feature pandas at some of my other zoos. Now that you've shown everyone. Yeah, now it looks more normal. Oh, did I unlock pandas in other zoos or something? After all, Man, this is so gorgeous. Holy crap. Zoo manager. I my, oh my. There isn't a single task I could throw at you which you wouldn't handle with a plum. I don't know about that. I think the next one's gonna be a bit of a curveball. <laughs> oh. That sounds very tricky. Man, this game is freaking gorgeous. It's bootyful. Can I pop the balloons by clicking them? Oh, I can! I honestly didn't think I'd be able to. <laughs> There's no, like, pop sound, though, which is unfortunate. I love how that was kept in all the way back from, like, the RCT days. That's incredible. My, oh, my. Anyway, so I believe that's all the... Did I not save the other tutorial ones? I guess I literally never saved the other tutorial ones. I believe that's all. I think there's only the three tutorial parks. So I think we've got all the tutorials done now. And now we can get into the game like for real. Maybe. <laughs> I guess I don't have saves of the other ones though. Which is uh, certainly a situation, isn't it? I was about to say, where's my music? Yeah, that's all the tutorials done, it looks like. Okay. So this next one is in Canada, you say? Uh, bordering Candy Lake, the site of the Maple Leaf Wild. Of course, it'd be called the freaking Maple Leaf. 
Wildlife Park was chosen for its outstanding views of natural beauty and giving you this opportunity. Bernard has done you a great honor, so it's time to repay the trust that he's placed in you and do him proud. Okay, it doesn't look wintry. I was about to say if they want with like stereotypical can of like heavy winter. <laughs> that would sure be something. But it looks like it's more portraying it the way that it actually be during summer at least. Without it being, you know, heavy winter. <laughs> My oh my. Typically whenever any game portrays Canada, it's like time for snow everywhere. But yeah, even in my province here we have, like my province we have the Rocky Mountains where like you can After expect it to be a bit white towards China, the top. This would be I beautiful for thumbnails. Good news, better news situation for you. The good That's news beautiful. is that I'm promoting you to apprentice zoo manager. Cool. The better news is you get to build a new zoo from scratch. Sweet. That said, you will be on your own this time. No help from Nancy, although she wishes you luck. So, I suppose it's actually more of a good news, better news, and then mm, slightly worse news situation. Either way, it's a chance for you to really prove yourself. This is really gorgeous. Now, Holy crap. For this zoo, I want to see a good few different habitat and exhibit species and at least as many guests to look at them. I'd also like you to keep your staff nice and happy as much as you can. And obviously the same is true of the animals as well. Oh, and uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, you should size profit to boot so we can continue our vital work elsewhere. There. That should keep you going for a while. <laughs> I'll check it. That's with you later. gorgeous. Good I'll turn the chat and camera back on. But yeah, yeah, she did definitely talk a whole lot. All right, so we got bronze, silver, and gold, and this park is completely up to us now. Okay, and we got 79k, so we're probably gonna be AO fine in terms of finances. It's probably just gonna be management that's the problem of like everything else. Oh, oh, oh. This has been very clearly designed for like many exhibits. Oh, you like Nancy? We can have like some facilities over here. Like, look at this exhibit right here, exhibit right here, exhibit right here. Look at that. We can have like an aquatic one right there. This is like perfectly designed to have so many exhibits. Park is entirely up to us. What could possibly go wrong? Exactly. Nothing. That's what I say. Another exhibit right here. Maybe a heavily forested one right there. Oh man, that's pretty. When when I heard that this park was going to be in Canada, I honestly thought that they were going to just portray it as like super, like, heavy winter completely filled with snow. I'm glad that they didn't. <laughs> I'm glad that they didn't just go with like the stereotype look of my country here. Reflecting more of what, like, you could actually expect from park in Canada. Oh. Huh. So that line goes up to there. So we're not going to be building up there anyway. Alright. So what are our objectives anyway? Have at least three habitat species in the zoo. Have at least 175 guests in the zoo. More attractive animals attract more guests. What, you're... <laughs> what, you don't like unattractive animals? What, so I shouldn't be adopting like all the beetles that I can or something have at least five species habitats in the zoo have at least two exhibit species in the zoo oh so exhibit are so habitat are the ones that are like actually in enclosures and exhibits are the ones that are like in the little viewing dome things okay yeah they must be fabulous or else they're not good enough have at least seven habitat species in the zoo have at least four exhibit species in the zoo earn a yearly profit of 10k okay okay what species are available, I wonder? Like, what do I want to put into here? Something that needs to be aquatic and somewhat forested? Is there any way to get up onto that ledge for any animals I put in here? No. What wants a watery cave, potentially? And maybe not a lot of space. Should I put the walls all the way up here and then they have, like, this tiny weird slope thing? And then, like, some area right here? It'd be weird, but maybe it'd work. I don't know. Could potentially give them some space. So let's see. What do we even have here? Oh, we could get some... Some tortoises. Maybe those would be good for this area. Um... Let's see. Oh, and you get like a full description here. Vulnerable. Oh! Huh. 
Oh, that's neat. So you can try to specifically go for ones that are endangered at different levels if you want. Interesting. Very interesting. I don't know what would want the water over there. I'm not completely sure. Like, there's wolves, potentially. Snow leopards. Saltwater crocs, huh? Maybe they'd be better for over here. Or! Crocs could even be up here. In this little bit. That'd probably be a good place for them, wouldn't it? Hmm. Hmm. Is there good viewing points for them there, though? Can I see what kind of barriers they need? Maybe we'll go for freaking crocs first. Whatever. Does it say here? Size, longevity, fertility, immunity. Does it say what kind of barrier that I need for them? Yeah, not a lot of concern about them. Natural habitat. Oh, that's cool. Species data. Interesting. Group size is one to two. So I'd probably only put one in there. Or, or two, I guess, maybe. Um, Interspecies enrichment. Saltwater crocodile doesn't benefit from sharing space with other species. So I guess some would, though. Huh. I wish I could see what barriers they needed, though. I wish I could see. I'm still not super, super familiar with this game. Also, I'm dropping a lot of frames, which sucks. Freaking zoom in! I hate how it doesn't let me zoom in sometimes. Pfft. Now it does. The moment I show it on camera, it's like, fine, I'll behave! So what are we starting out with here? So we've got a keeper hut. Quarantine. We got a staff room. Um, oh, do we have, like, no power in these places or something? Trade center. Is this power? What is that? What does it mean, inefficient? Is that supposed to be power? Do I need to put down a power thing? I don't get what it means. I actually don't get it. Um... I don't know what to put down here, honestly. I I could just start building wall. I probably want to build a thing over here first. What species will I give it to, I wonder? Alright, let's just see about barriers. Should I just do, like, wood logs? How do I increase the height again? Oh, like this. I forget how I replace some of this with glass later, but we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out when we get there. I suppose. Okay, big spins. We'll replace some of these with glass a little bit later. Yeah, we can have this go up this way. Maybe the animals will have space to go up the side of the hill. Maybe. Whatever I put in here, I'm still not sure. Um, we'll see here. Oi. And then we'll bring it around town. Bring it around town. Uh -huh. I'll have this go through the wall a little bit. Um, never mind. Hold on. Hold on. Do I even need the wall here? Because there's no way they get out of there anyway. I mean... I can be extra safe, I guess. Oh No! Nose! Aw, oh, crap. Only this one, please. Only freaking... Only select this bit. How do I only select this one? Okay. Oh, that music, though. Okay, now for sure, whoever's in there, there's no way they're getting out, right? 
Yeah, I really need to add so much of this music to my playlists. Like, my goodness. I'm gonna have to get on that. Oh? Pixel Hunter Simulator? BAM! Okay, <laughs> look, we got walls around this entire thing now. How do I make glass ones? Glass. I've forgotten. Dang it. How do I make it glass? Oh, freaking... What? How do I make a glass? Two-way glass ensure the animal feels secure and comfortable. Oh, is there a separate thing for two-way glass? Did I just like null? Glass, resistance grade two. I don't understand. This is glass, huh? You sound like Nancy. How do I put glass in there? I don't know about the, like, the uh, two-way glass. Or whatever the heck. Glass. Glass. Oh. But. Ah. Ah. Yes. Okay, we're slowly figuring things out. I'll do like that. Or something. Now I'm starting to figure it out. Maybe that's a thing for later? I guess so. Something like this? Hmm. Something like that for glass? I don't know. Sure. And then, I know that we need like the donation bins or whatever the heck. Utilities. Oh, I need power at the thing there, don't I? Um. Um. Mute my microphone and cough for a hot second. Hopefully I'm not getting the Rona. That would suck. <laughs> Leave the stream if you don't want to get sick. I don't think... I don't think I would have exposed myself to anything. That would. I think that was just a regular... Regular cough. Okay, I'll put one of those down there. And then we can put another one down like here? Maybe, maybe. Do I have space for one here? I meant to put that on the other side of the path, but okay. Okay. Something like that. Now, who would want this habitat anyway? Is the question. Like, who would benefit from that habitat? Probably not wolves, if I had to guess. They'd probably go somewhere else. The crocs probably wouldn't like the forest too much. I'll probably give the crocs, like, that area up there. Um, antelopes, maybe? Maybe antelopes? Oh, let's see here. Let's see here. Size, longevity, fertility, immunity. Um, Zoopedia. There is least concern. Natural habitats, that area. That's cool how it shows you on the world map. I like that. Um, group size 1 to 11. Up to 1 male, up to 10 females. Huh. Interesting. Um, the sable antelope is a social herd species, and in the wild live in the two types of groups. In breeding groups of related females, they're young, and one unrelated dominant male, or in bachelor herds of young males who have not yet acquired a harem of females. Interesting. <laughs> Age of sexual sterility. Death. They just are always available. I suppose. Um... Huh, so you can put them with some other species as well. Can I get zebras by chance? In there? Am I- Like, who would like a little bit of forest along with some water? I wish that there was an easy way for me to tell, like, for me to... Look at, say, this exhibit. 
Oh, I need an actual entrance to this freaking thing, don't I? I just realized. Can't just be walls. Um, wooden habitat gate. Like there? Okay, so now there is an actual entrance. Does this... Yeah, now it's designated as a habitat. Cleanliness, broken barrier status. Habitat is empty. Cool. Um... I wish there was a way to just see, like, what species would be best in this habitat. View animal market. Well, let's go to the bottom here. We get some bison. What did the bison's father say to the son when he left for university? Bye, son. Um... We got some wildebeest, maybe. I don't know! Like, what would be good for... That area, though? I have no way to tell until I get them in there, I think. Maybe some bears might like the forest. Gan. Um, immunity 0%, they're gonna get the Rona. Um, let's see here. Vulnerable. Um, now you got Corona after that bison joke. Oh my. Oh, wait, what bear is this? Formosan black bear. I was like, wait, it's only from there. <laughs> my oh my. Species data. One to two. No interspecies stuff. Yeah, we can maybe do like a big interspecies thing down that way. Go back. Um, I might like to put some bears in there. What kind though? Oh yeah, grizzly bears are more from around. It's kind of air. We have grizzlies here in here in Alberta. Not a lot of concern. Yeah, so I guess where I am is like right there. And yeah, we have grizzlies in this area, so that matches up. For for that. Huh. I guess there's like a patch over here. Grizzlies exist all the way up that far north? I did not know that. Huh. I thought that they were mostly kind of around like this whole area over here and not that much farther up north because it gets real cold up there real fast i mean to be fair it gets real cold down here real fast once winter comes around so i guess it makes sense anyway if they're hibernating but uh but up there i don't know how warm it gets during summer but uh this is awesome but it's like 4 a.m here you need some sleep we'll be back for more something like cheers mate later i appreciate it hope you have a good sleep low hit if i'm saying that correctly i don't know i'm probably butchering it majorly appreciate yourself by hanging out have a good sleep yeah, 4 a.m., that's definitely getting pretty late there, so understandable. Yeah, maybe we'll put some grizzlies in there. We have some... We have some grizzlies around here. We have grizzlies, we have moose, we have all kinds of fun critters. Are th Wait, uh, since this is a Canada one, are there any moose that you can adopt? I'm so sad. How dare you have a freaking Canada scenario without being able to adopt a moose? Unbelievable. I want a refund from this game immediately. <laughs> but yeah, take care. My oh my. So yeah, let's see about how many we'd be getting in there. So grizzlies. Hold on. Species data. So one to two, up to one male, up to two female. I nailed your name. Sweet. Wonderful. That's so strange how it only appears like on the screen what you said like a moment after. Odd. So I'm like reacting to it before it even appears on screen. <laughs> um, so yeah, maybe we will get one of each and maybe just give them like contraceptives because we don't want any more. Um, maybe, maybe. Reproduction and captivity is very easy. Would we want to have them make any more or no? Because it would make three and then they might feel a little bit cramped. I'll consider it later. But, dang it, I wish it would take me right down to where I was before. We could get Noah. I still don't know what these mean. I also don't get what this is still. Um, rescue. It takes 154 leaves things. Hmm. Hmm. Um, yeah, I have no idea what the... Metals mean. Oh, appeal. This one's just a little bit more. 
This has the exact same appeal, but this one doesn't have a metal at all. Same here. I don't get what the metals are. I really frankly don't get it. I don't understand. I will never understand. Um, I don't know what the leaves mean. We can source custom seizure. Pet. So I guess those are ones that already exist in other, other zoos. Rescue. Um, so the ones adopted for cash can't be released into the wild. But the ones that you adopt with that can eventually be released into the wild. Oh, and I see I have a thousand here. Oh, conservation credits. You can earn conservation credits in the following ways. Releasing animals into the wild, improving zoo reputation, having well-educated guests. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Why is this female so much more expensive than this other one? This one has a lot of longevity. Already at 12.7 years old. Hmm. Hmm. I literally have no idea what I'm doing in this game. This one's 10 years. Source pet, huh? No, we'll adopt you. And then... Yeah, all the ones for cash can't be released into the wild. Well, if we ever want to release one into the wild... We can adopt you with conservation credits, I guess. Invalid destination. What you mean? Can I not even put them in there? Oh, it has to be in... Do we have to put them in quarantine first? Hold on. Hold on a hot second. I need a research center. I need a workshop. Good to know. Hold on. <laughs> Facilities. Let's see here. We need a research center. And a workshop, huh? That's what I need. So maybe I can have like research center here. And we can get rid of some of these. Um, can I edit this? No. Did I make a mistake by putting that there? Hmm. I could have some more path going through here. Um, wait, there's Q in this? For what? Staff path. Path, where's natural? Oh. Let's see here. We can maybe do that and then fit a couple facilities into there. And turned away from the guests so that they don't have to see it. Too much, at least. So this is... Oh, that's Keeper Hut, sorry. Research Center. There's the Research Center. And we need a workshop. So we can have these next to each other. Like this. There we go. So, apparently some of these places need power? Efficiency? Um... Where is... Utilities? Transformer. Oh, there's something at the entrance already powering those. What about water? Water treatment. So there's already fresh water at those things. I thought this was attaching to the path earlier here. 
Is it not? Okay, so that's the front. Can I potentially have this like behind the walls? Like if I edit these. Can I take like this edge and uh, whoa, not that whole thing. Just this, just this pole. And then this pole can be uh, like this. And then maybe I can hide the generator behind or the freaking water thing behind there now? Hold on. Facilities, water treatment. So the front is this side, right? So yeah, maybe water treatment here? Get the water treated and stuff. And then maybe people won't have to see that? I don't know. Because I'm pretty sure guests aren't supposed to see it. Something like that. Now we have this water treatment thing. And heat maps are here. So that'll treat like that whole area. So if we have an exhibit up here, that'll cover that, I suppose. Let's see here. Um, so those bears that I got. Let's see here, animal storage. Sent to zoo. What do you mean invalid destination? They're both in trade centers. Invalid destination? What do you mean? What do you mean invalid destination? Do I actually need to connect all these walls? I'm so confused right now. Um... Why is it an invalid destination anyway? Does this count as an exhibit? It does. Fix incomplete. What do you mean fix incomplete? Do I actually need to complete the wall? Is that considered fixed? Um, let's see here. I just want to select this pole here on its own. Are you kidding me? How do I have it not glitch all the way down there though? not mean to do that um well there might be a little edge sticking through this count is complete it says ready now um now I can send them in here okay Okay, so this will be the grizzly exhibit here. I needed to actually connect the walls all the way, which is rather annoying. When are we going to start actually getting some guests in here, I wonder? When will we? Should I have another water treatment thing back there in case there's any exhibits in this area? I will get some keepers in that case, so let's see here. Staff. Keeper. A tire keeper. Okay. Um. Facilities. Water treatment. So that one goes all the way over there. So. Could have this one back here. Where the guests hopefully won't even go. So we'll have a decent bit of water treatment available here. Yep. 
some nice area of effect. So, this one keeper. Workstone manager. Let's see here. So, we have the one janitor and the one keeper. Let's create a work zone. So, uh. We'll have this stuff. Okay, so now some guests are coming in. We'll just have, like, this area as a work zone. I suppose. Let's do entrance and grizzlies, I'll call it. So I will assign you to and yeah, there we go. It says entr it says entrace and grizzlies. Whatever. Whatever, I suppose. Oh now the guests are coming in. So what do they need? Also. I should probably do that just so they don't. You're injured? What? Hold on, let's see here. First of all, enrichment. So this is just grizzly bear. So let's see here. Habitat. Um, let's see here. So species. Let's scroll down to G. Grizzly bear. Okay. So let's see here. They need some uh, food and toy enrichment. They don't like that, apparently. Um. Food tray? Um, let's see here. Oh, enrichment items. I should specifically go for. Dangerous animal has escaped! You what? You just climbed over! What? Um, tranquilize a box's animal for a fee. I don't know how I'm normally supposed to do it. Serious injury discovered vet called. How do I, how am I supposed to know what walls I'm supposed to need? Um, I guess it's not those types of walls. Um... Not climbable. These ones then? Because he freaking climbed over that crap. I assume the glass isn't climbable. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's uh let's fix this real quick. So apparently they can climb over the wood ones. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, I probably could have selected like them all and then edited it, but not well. <laughs> probably don't even need to edit it over here, but whatever. Please, no escaping. Please, no. Please, no escape. So, this should prevent them from climbing over, right? Right. Hopefully. Are you no longer injured? Wait, you're the one that was just brought back. You're the one that was injured. How do I how do I help you though? Call a keeper. How do I fix your injury? How do you even get injured? But so let's see your camera off because I know it blocks things on the right side. And then so enrichment habitat. Food enrichment. There's no food enrichment items for the grizzly bears? Hold on. Where's my research facility? Research center. Um. I don't have any veterinarians, huh? Zoo. So, staff. So, I need to hire a vet. Oh, will you be able to heal that injury as well? So let's see here. Do I need to assign you to that? Also, my staff. Is it like Planet Coaster where I can give them training? Oh, I can. Yes, indeed. So it is like Planet Coaster like that. So I'll give the caretaker some training. 
Like that. I'll give you the work zone of entrance and grizzly and trace and grizzlies. This is what we do. What about other things? So habitat. Terrain. Let's see here. So you want more long grass. Don't try to climb things again. Please don't. The terrain. Let's see here. Long grass. Wait, you, we need less long grass. More short grass. Okay. You need way less long grass, actually. So short. Now let's get rid of the long grass in that case. That inspector is going to ruin my whole operation, isn't he? <laughs> Needs to have like next to no long grass here. Don't try to climb it. Don't you dare. Don't even think about it. Oh, did you heal the injury? I hope you did. I hope you did. She looks much better now. So I assume you did. Jeez, there's so much long grass here. Can I even get up here? They probably can if they want some covering. Also, I don't get how it said, like, zero plant, zero covering. Maybe it's just not of the right kind. Where's more long grass? Inspector, I'm about to ruin this man's whole career. That's basically what's gonna happen here. It's starting to get dark. There's too much long grass! They also need shelter. I'll have to get on that immediately. Where... Is the last of the long grass like what did I miss 24% for it now uh, I might replace some soil because we're getting close to the limit for uh that grass there looks like there's some other long grass over here we can get some soil over here I suppose actually maybe I'll even put some soil over here in this kind of area here. And then I can put some more short grass in the other areas. Here, let's get some soil. Let's get some soil and stuff. How about... Maybe along the hill, because it'll look semi-decent there. Won't it now? It escaped again?! There's a freaking secret tunnel?! You haven't escaped, though! You swam under the wall and it counted as escaping. I don't know how that counts as escaping. Man, this game is sure perfect, isn't it? Vet on route. No, it keeps escaping. Animal has avoided capture for a long time. Perhaps use emergency capture. I don't get what you mean. I see nothing wrong with him swimming in this area. Apparently it counts as escaping though. I might have to do the emergency animal capture because I don't think the staff are gonna get him. Important alert requires attention. Fine, emergency capture. <laughs> well, I think I literally need to uh, put this down here somewhere. Or not. Uh. Can I not? Hold on. What if I add more barrier onto here? How do I add another thing? I did it earlier by accident. Hold on. So down that way. Do I literally need to do this? This is actually what I need to do? Whoa. <laughs> Put walls around the freaking cave thing? You're expecting too much from me here, game. Why can't I put a wall here? Terrain too uneven, huh? <laughs> and then... This entire area here, I should, uh, delete?
Okay. And then I select this one over here and start deleting stuff there. Whoa. Something like that? There. Important alert. Visiting player, me. I'm visiting? Hold on. Camera back on. That's my freaking character. <laughs> Apparently that was an important alert. It's my dudo. With a somewhat similar-ish blue hoodie, but not quite. But research is complete. Do we have enrichment items now? There. And then, yeah, continue re researching it. Can I give you some training to make you better? On staff. Um, yeah, vet. Let's make him better. This is what we do. Cool. We did it. <laughs> nice. I'm so surprised that I had to actually put a wall throughout there. Like, I'm very surprised at that. Okay. What was I just doing? We need... Hard shelter. So. Habitat. Beds and shelters. Maybe one like there. Bam. There we go. Hard shelter done. Give you like some bed stuff, I guess. Sure, that stuff, I suppose. We need plants. So the terrain is a. Uh, we were working on that before. We still need less long grass. Somehow. Where is this long grass anyway? I don't get it. Here's short grass. Where is this long grass that is in here anyway? There's a little bit freaking hiding right there. Any other little bits hiding around here? So we need less long grass. There's still too much long grass. Why is there so much long grass in here anyway? My goodness, the music's so good though. I don't even see any more long grass. Wait, can I, like, look for long grass? Like, is there a heat map that shows all the long grass in here? There's a little edge. Long grass. Where is it? I must destroy all long grass. I have literally no idea where other long grass could be. Here? Barely, it wasn't even a percent. <laughs> what the heck? Man. What do you want from me? I see no more long grass anywhere in here. I have literally no idea what you want from me. Um, is there some other grass around here I missed? It can't be in the water, can it? That's what I figured. We still have too much long grass. I have literally no idea where. I don't even see any more long grass. Yeah, you better not escape out of here again. Long grass? What do you mean? What you mean, though? What you mean? What you mean, though? We're at 14% now, at least. Literally no idea. Oh, 13! There must be little edges of it somewhere. I'm just slowly taking out by doing this. 12? I think we gotta get it down to 10, most likely. Where is the rest of this long grass? Oh, there is a little bit. Right on that edge. Doesn't really matter. Grass short. Oh! Come on! 
We've almost eliminated the freaking long grass menace. Come on. Where is this last percent? Apparently I got it. <laughs> Whew. Okay. Well, terrain's now perfect for the two grizzlies, apparently. Man, that sure was easy, wasn't it? <laughs> My goodness, we need plants, huh? So environment. Okay, so you're fine with all those things. So we need more coverage, we need more plants. Continent North America, because that's where Canada is. And we need temperate, tundra, and taiga are the things that will work. So, continent North America. And then biome was temperate tundra taiga. A bunch of teas. Okay. Okay, let's see here. Beach tree. That's some more coverage. Didn't help with my plants thing. Oh, we can have a big tree up here. Oh, that helped with my plants thing, didn't it? One more? Done. <laughs> Done, easy peasy. This one didn't help me a whole lot. Maybe I should move it out. Just be scenery here. Because they should still have the 100% plants. Heck yeah, they do. All right here, so we need some species enrichment stuff. So habitat, enrichment items for grizzly bear. Oh, we do have a roller feeder now. I guess that must have been from research. Maybe. We just need toy enrichment now. Oh, and we have one of these, huh? These are the only things that we have for this right now. So I mean. Erm. Um, oop. What, you don't want more of them? Dang, I think I need other things, don't I? I mean, I'll put down a few of these, I guess. Yeah, I guess we're gonna need to do some more research into that, huh? Most likely. That research is complete. Cool. Look at that. Keep researching it. Jeez, there's so many levels of research for this. Holy crap. There's so many research levels. How are our staff looking? Alright, so he's happy. I'll give you some more training, I think. Maybe I will have to watch finances after all. It's just very different from, uh, you know, what I'm used to in, say, Planet Coaster. Meh. What other staff are there? Anyway, I can turn my camera back on again now. Keeper, caretaker, and mechanic, security, vendor. Oh, yeah, we don't have food and drink places here yet. We don't actually have any of those. Maybe put some down here. Let's see here. So facilities. Yes, facilities. There's an ATM. Um, let's see here. So here's a food shop. Oh, this is a shell. So we can have like food and drink in here. Is a thing. Wow, camera is a little bit wonky sometimes. So yeah, we can definitely have food and drink, say, there. Make sure it's not clipping into that so it doesn't interfere with the other facility. And then we can put things into the shells, like a chief beef here. Like this. Wow. Let's see here. Let the count to be, like, right there. Oh, not clip through, please. All right, no, I don't want another chief beef right there. I want gulpy soda, I guess so. Okay, that would automatically snap to where it needed to be though. All right, so we've got food and drink now. Oh, I should put down some benches and stuff and some bins so they don't litter now that I have food and drink places. So let's see here, I guess that's in facilities. Yeah, benches and security. There's a difference between there's regular trash and recycle now in this game. You yeah, what? That's interesting, isn't it? Okay. 
So let's place down some trash and recycle, I guess. Because these places are going to get pretty popular pretty fast. Oh. So there's different things now. Interesting. There's picnic benches too. If we wanted to have a little picnic area. Um, that's gonna be a place for people to chill as well, I suppose. Oh yeah, I never. Wait, I never deleted this one. T was researching in that one. Sorry, I guess he got research in the other one. Pfft. My oh my. Yeah, let's put down some more benches here. Make people happy with that. Maybe I'll put some benches here too. So people like those. Uh. Oh, I need a mechanic. Um, let's see here. And mechanic can research too. Oh, so yeah, I should get a mechanic right away so that we can work on that. And get some mechanic research on deck. I know I have no security guards. Fine, I'll hire a security guard too. Fine. Vet research complete. Nice. Go on researching that grizzly. I wouldn't mind giving my vet some more training. Okay, next time they rest in the staff room. And I guess there's mechanic research too. So what do we want to research here is the question. Drink shops, we can get some other barriers, other staff facilities, shelters and climbing. Okay, maybe we'll get a souvenir shop for now. There's just a couple of those. So yeah, I probably should have gotten a mechanic earlier because they can busy themselves with the research, looks like. Which is interesting. Okay, let's get some more bins and such. Man, this music, holy crap. I love it. Like, this is my first real time being exposed to the Planet Coaster soundtrack. Like, I'm surprised that I haven't gone through, like, the whole OST on my own time. I thought I did, but listening to it now, I realized that I must not have. And it sure is something. More bins. Because, yeah, it's real good. So. Yeah, we need 175 guests in the zoo. We have the grizzly exhibit up right now. Do I have any other toy enrichment stuff right now? Ah, large ball. Bam. And then that's at 91% now. This thing? Bam, look at that. That's all at 100% now. Nutrition. Last meal quality. Can I increase the meal quality here then? Let's see here. Grade 2 food quality. Okay. Maybe this will help bring everything to 100%. At least it'll be closer to 100%. At least there will be that. Like, I can see a big mixed habitat here. We could also make another exhibit here. I do worry about, like, the climbable walls and stuff like that. I mean... Hmm. Out in an area like this might also be a good, nice space for wolves. I definitely do want to have a wolf exhibit. Maybe this would even be good for them. This is a nice big space. Oh, they probably want lots of space. Most likely. What's something small I could put in here, maybe? I was thinking about having crocs up here. Could also have something here. Is there something that likes just long or short grass? Maybe. Something that we can put in there. I wish I could see that in the... In the thing here, what kind of stuff they like. I wish. Snow leopards, I assume, need some snow. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. Um. Okay. I do wish I could see, like, the terrain and data and stuff like that just here. I do wish. But alas. 
definitely got to pick up some wolves at some point. We can have gators at the top. Maybe this would be a good place for antelopes. Maybe. What kind of wall should I put around the thingy, Bob? I wonder. I should probably also have some toilets around here somewhere. Oh, before I forget, let's get all of the all their needs established, essentially. So toilets. Here's a small one. I'll move that one tree, I suppose. What I'll do so it's not clipping through. We can have it, like, right here. Cool. Alright, so that should be all the guest needs covered now. Should be A-OK. -okay. Could also potentially see about finding an ATM. Oh, that's cool how you can see the inside. Like, I'm doing research and stuff. I could potentially do an ATM. Hmm. ATM? Right there? Sure. Alrighty. So now we don't have to worry about that. Cool. Looks like some of them already need to use that. We're getting lots of research on the Grizzlies done. I'm not sure how this helps me now. I assume that it just unlocks like more enrichment items and stuff. Yeah, may as well keep on researching the Grizzlies. Keep on doing it. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I could always maybe get some antelopes here. This might be a good area for them. Maybe, maybe. So when it comes to barriers... So this is more... So this is more resistance, but it's climbable. Not watertight. That's not watertight either. I'm pretty sure the antelopes can't climb anyway though, right? I'm fairly certain, so this probably won't matter a whole lot. Hmm. Hmm, where to start this wall? Let's start like right here and see. Let's just go to six meters. Exactly, I guess. Sure. I'll have this be close by. I can replace some with glass later. If it turns out they can climb, then I guess I'll replace the wall. I really wish you could find this information before... You know, before even adopting them. I do wish... Okay. Well, go around this way, then Spectre's gonna be coming. The Inspector! The Pun Spectres! Let's see here. Yeah, they can have this little area. This little hilly area. They can has it. Okay. Thinking of the thing there too, I guess. But now I know that apparently I need to put walls around like the whole thing. Um, how do I make this bit shorter? Hmm. Let's see here. Oh, I should just be able to attach it like that now. Okay. Okay, so we got that little area. Alrighty. I didn't actually check how many antelopes are in a group, though. Let's see here. At least that I can check. At least there's that. So, 1 to 11, up to 1 male, up to, tw up to 10 females, huh? Man, researching those grizzly bears like a freaking machine now. My goodness. So much grizzly research. So. I love this theme. This is the one theme that I for sure knew. Ahead of time. In fact, I've used it in several of my freaking high quality discussion videos. As like a relaxing piece to have in the background. I'm pretty sure I used it in my Breath of the Wild discussion video. That's like three hours long. Um, how do I make an entranceway? Oh, this is wooden habitat gate. Can 
Yeah, sure, right there. And in case we need an alternative entrance, we can do another one. Or not? Can you only have one? Interesting. Um. So then we need some glass. Let's see here. We need glass. Um, glass. 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 We'll have some over here. One, two, three, four, maybe. Maybe even five. I can have some over here just so that the freaking antelopes that I'll probably put in here can, uh, see the pretty stuff over there. See the sights. You know? Mmm. Something like that. Something along those lines, and this will be like their own little private area over there. Okay. Okay. Bit by bit, it's coming along here. So. So then. I could potentially have some staff facilities up this way, or even over here. And then once we make an exhibit over here, we can have another kind of work group that, you know, covers both of these areas. This is what we could do. Like, have some staff facilities, build another exhibit right here, and then I can cover that as well. I'll probably have antelopes in here, that way I can have a whole bunch of them. And then maybe something that requires less over this way. Can we do water terrain? Disabled by scenario. Okay. I was about to say, like, maybe I could put tortoises in here if I could make, like, a small lake thing. I'm sure they'd love that. But in this scenario, apparently we can't do that. Research, er, research bears are almost grizzlied? Yes, that's definitely how words work. So, animal trading. Let's see about those antelopes, huh? I went past it, didn't I? Didn't I now? So let's see here. What were their groups again? Species data. So up to 1 to 11 with 1 male, 10 female. So I should get like 1 male and then a whole bunch of females and like give contraceptives to the male, I guess. This is what we do. Here's all these antelopes. Looks like there's none that I can get with the... Uh, at those points. None of them at all. There's only the two males here anyway. Okay. So we'll get you, and then we can get a whole bunch of the female ones, is what we can do. We'll get a few. This one apparently has the bronze thing. Some appeal. Um, we can get three of them, so we'll have four total. Sure, let's do it. Do I have to put them through quarantine first? Well, let's see here. Animal storage. Do I have to put them all through quarantine? Is the question. Is this a good idea? Also, I thought I had four total. One male, three females. Oh, wait. Wait a hot second. Relocating to quarantine. So I guess it'll let me when they're through with quarantine. Just to make sure that they're not sickly and stuff. People are enjoying looking at the grizzlies. Oh, I don't have a donation bin over here. And this is like one of the common viewing spots. This is why you guys should donate. You should totally donate. As you enjoy looking at the two grizzlies that we have here. Look at that. Oh, that's kind of clipping through the glass a little bit. Whatever. Sweet. Bunnies. 
Bam, now it's not clipping through anymore. <laughs> now it no longer is. <laughs> Man, they're getting pretty hyped about those grizzlies, huh? They're getting pretty darn hyped, let me tell you. Whoa! Grizzlies are the only thing that this park has right now, though. Not for long. Animal storage. Wait, what? Are they all in... Are they all just chilling in quarantine? Quarantine. So, uh... Let's see here. Under quarantine. I guess it'll probably give me a notification. Oh, quarantine has passed. Ready to leave. Okay. Right as I said that. Wait, maybe I shouldn't do anything yet because the inspector's about to arrive. I might just actually leave them in quarantine for now. Like maybe put them back into the trade center. Maybe, maybe. Whoops, I don't want to move my quarantine place. So yeah, you're currently still under quarantine and these ones are good to go. So maybe I'll select all and then they don't have an original habitat yet. Okay, I can't move them into there. I might just leave them in quarantine until the inspector comes because, you know, if he inspects that newly constructed place and sees that I have nothing for the antelopes yet and I'll be working on that, he's going to be like, yeah, what? Also, is that mechanic research still not done? Like, hold on. I guess it takes a while. I could also give my mechanic some training for the thing. I'll research some things better. I like my vet even better, how about? Okay. Okay. Neat, neat. Yeah, so I'll wait for Mr. Inspector to come. Maybe I'll even... Inspector has arrived at your zoo. Okay. So he's literally just going to inspect Habitat 1, which I should probably rename to, uh, Grizzlies. I'll probably completely misspelled it, whatever. Barrier status, 72%. Wait! Has it been damaged, though? Call mechanic? Is that gonna repair the barrier? Hold on. It's losing us money, but, uh... Mechanic's running. Do you fix the barrier? Do you? Oh, he will, won't he? Right? Oh, yeah. He's gonna bang it with his hammer a little bit. With this Super Mario outfit kind of look. Do I have my donation bin over this way? I don't. Why don't I have them next to the places that people are viewing the most? Well, that'll be clipping through, whatever. I should be having these next to the glass. I think maybe I put down the donation bins before I placed down the glass, maybe? I have no idea what my mistake there was. Barrier! Is it being repaired? Where is this inspector? He's going to go see Noah. She. Sorry. Assuming genders in 2020, unbelievable. All right, so you're inspecting things. Can't even see the bears from there, but okay. Five stars. Sweet. All right, guess we passed the inspection. I think I'm gonna move these antelopes into their thing now. All right, we're going to select all here and then move them to this habitat, which I'm going to rename to antelopes that I have no idea how to spell because I've literally never in my life needed to do that. Report ready for viewing. Oh, I don't have any education. Oh, I didn't even need to turn off my camera for that. I don't have any education facilities. I forgot that was a thing that existed in this game, honestly. I kind of forgot. So, where's education things then? Habitat? Would it be in barriers? It's barriers. Um... What's the education stuff? 
hearing devices and speakers. Educational speaker? It needs power though, doesn't it? Do I need like a... A nearby transformer for that or something? Okay, I'll deal with the antelopes first. Make sure that they're taken care of. And we shall see. Keeper cannot reach habitat. I need another work force thing. Um, I'll just hire another keeper for now. Who has no work roster thing. And then I'll make some more facilities up this way. And then make another thing for Bob. So we need a third habitat species for that. For bronze. So, let's see here. I should maybe have that one vet on. Oh, this one's almost complete. So once it's done, we'll switch over to antelope, I suppose. So, enrichment. What kind of antelope? Sable antelope, apparently. So, let's see. Habitat. So, first of all, they're going to need some hard shelter. Beds and shelters. I can give them, like, a big one over here. Potentially. Bam. Hard shelter. Done. In case this gets bigger later. Or we get, like, more antelopes, that is. I'll make even another one. Now you have choices. Um, terrain. Let's look at that. Wait. I just realized. I could have checked if antelopes have... Like, benefits by being interspecies with other thingamabobs. Hold on. Animal trading. Let's look at the antelopes. Hold on. Okay, so we can put them together with springboks. And some other things that I don't think I have any of available. Right now. Um, there's wildebeest and bisons. I don't think those were ones on the list, though. Were they? I don't think. There's nialas. I've literally never heard of that before. Yeah, were there warthogs available? I think I might be thinking about the other. Okay, we got one of the objectives done. Okay, I guess this will just be antelopes in here for now. Uh, let's look at terrain. They want more short grass and some more soil. So, uh, let's grab some soil. Man, the music's so good. Uh, let's get some soil in this area over here. Is what we do. Maybe just spam it about, see what we get. Spam it about here and there, see what happens. Instead of having any one dedicated area, we need a whole bunch of short grass. So, like this, this will get rid of long grass. We're gonna have to pay attention to if that gets rid of too much of my soil. This is short grass, right? Yeah, good. Try to get rid of some of the long grass over here. Without getting rid of too much soil. I'm probably gonna have to put down more soil. Most likely. Looks like they don't mind the long grass, but, uh,. More short grass in here. Cool. Okay, neat. Hard shelter is 66%. Enough shelter to cover all animals, but they could do with some more now that there's more in there. Yeah, since more got in there. So we could even put one here. We could put a couple here for some other places. Cool. Um, and then enrichment items. Wait. Plants. Okay, so you don't like that one. <laughs> well, so much for that little forested area. So they like grassland, huh? Africa and grassland. It looks like. What is this? Say, this is Planet Zoo. Have you ever heard of Planet Coaster before? By chance? 
Hold on, so Africa and Grassland. And I have my camera off for a lot of it because I know it blocks things on the right here. Um, so, con- oh no, that's content pack, not continent. Um, so let's just see here, Grassland. Wait, this is shelter. I was so confused why I wasn't seeing continents. Let's see here. You only know about Planet Coaster because of me? Well, this is Planet Zoo, a game that released late last year behind- done by the same people as Planet Coaster. So a lot of the engine and stuff is reused, like the pathing system's the same, the guests are the same. A lot of stuff carries over, but instead of parks, now it's zoos. Is the thing where Bob. And this is only my second time playing it. Um, so continent, this would be Africa, and we need biome of grassland. Let's see here, grassland. Just to give them like some trees and stuff. Just to give them some trees. And things. So it looks a little bit more exciting over here. I think. Just so that we get something where Bob's into the mix. Oh, it's getting dark and kind of hard to see, isn't it? Okay, cool. What else do they need? What else do they need here? Probably feeding station and water, most likely. How are you doing today, though, Sate? Um... So, yeah, we could give them better meal quality here pretty soon. Oh, didn't we, uh... Okay, we did finish researching that. So, now, we're gonna start researching the antelopes. Is what we do. Seems like a good idea. You're doing okay? Might play some DBD in a bit. How about you? I'm doing alright. I'm looking forward to getting back into my regular stream schedule and stuff and stuff. I'm, uh... I'm really looking forward to crossplay. For a dead by daylight come out i've mentioned it to a few people i don't know if i oh i'm dropping frames again uh oh okay um i don't know if i've mentioned it to you already i know i've mentioned it to a few people once crossplay gets added to dead by daylight i want to organize a dead by daylight tournament is what i would like to do and i I've, I've heard that apparently when the game was new they uh did have some tournaments early on and apparently the format was like survivors 2v2 with killers that just agree to not target, like, any team in specific. Just kind of go after everybody. And I, like, I've never seen those tournaments. I've just heard about them. I heard that apparently it's, like, sandbagging contests. So what I was thinking is maybe once crossplay gets added, or once they announce, like, a release date for crossplay, I might start organizing a tournament that is kind of in that style, but has, like, my own kind of rules and stuff like that. So, like, 2v2s with survivors, with people playing killer that just agreed to not target anybody in specific. Or like have some rules where it's like if the survivor is being chased and leads them to another survivor the killer will change target stuff like that so that you can then strategize and try to during chases lead the killer to the other team and stuff like that maybe i don't know and maybe you get like so many points for each, like maybe maybe each round or each set there can be like a best of three something like that or after three games you count up so many points and you get like maybe a point for escaping lose a point for dying or something like that you get a point for having the most the most blood points at the end of the game stuff like that ways that we can potentially assign points for this tournament seeing stuff like that on your Celis's channel that could be cool i've never actually heard of that channel before i'm sorry to say i don't actually know it myself we need some enrichment items we we can't have an interspecies bonus here. So these are called sable antelopes, apparently. But yeah, once crossplay gets added, that'll be very, very nice. When it comes to other DBD stuff, unless they've added the new page of the tome lately, or I know it's either going to be today or tomorrow, uh, I am almost done with, like, every single challenge that is available right now out of all the tomes in Dead by Daylight. So, I mean, there's that. I'm very near to completion, and I've started going for, like, all achievements on the Steam version. And I think I'm currently at 128 out of 155 achievements, I believe. I might also need to... Give me a sec here. Sorry about that, I was suddenly being talked to in real life for a hot second, so I had to back out right there. Where are enrichment items? For sable antelopes, I believe it was called. 
But yeah, didn't even try to get everything on the first few pages, so he guesses you screwed yourself out of 100%. No, the challenges are still available. You just, once the, once the tome is over, you just won't be able to get, like, the, the battle pass stuff from it anymore, like the shards. But you can still get points from it. So I'm currently, I've been going back and doing, like, all the nodes on previous tomes, essentially. You don't have to worry about screwing yourself out of 100%. You just won't be able to get, like, the cosmetic items that you would from the event while it's going on but in terms of actually getting the nodes done you can go back and do it whenever you want for any of the previous tomes even so that's what i've been doing and i have almost all those done apparently they like this bam 80 percent oh i should probably put it close put these close to the places where people view it huh in fact maybe i'll even move this one so that people can actually view these antelopes and stuff. Now, for, uh, they need food enrichment too. But we don't have any available yet until we research it. I need some more janitors. Okay, mechanic research is complete. We've got a souvenir shop. What do I want my mechanic to research now? Oh, I guess that there's the, uh, maybe this is how we get the two-way glass thing. Or one-way glass or whatever the heck. As for vet research, this still isn't done yet. Maybe we'll get some more enrichment items like that. This requires repair. Call mechanic. Call mechanic. It needs fixing. And there's high amounts of litter. So I'll hire another janitor in that case. So let's see here, staff. Wait, are there not like regular janitors? There's caretakers. Does that, do they clean up regular litter around the park too? I sure hope so. I mean, we can test it out if I see a spot of litter and place them right on top of it. Do you clean this up too? You better. Sweet. Good. Good, good. Okay. Oh, we need freaking donation bins over here. Donate me streamer bucks. No, uh... Wait, where's the... Where's the thing? It's not in barriers, is it? No, it's not. Where is it again? Oh, here it is. Alright, donate all the things. Love the antelopes and donate, please. Please donate. Thank you. I appreciate it. Hopefully those donation bins will go to good use. What else do they need? Like, we could increase their meal quality once we've researched a little bit. We need some food enrichment stuff. But we don't have anything for Sable Antelope until we've researched it, is the thing. What? I know there's high amounts of litter. I've been working on it. Run, mechanic! Go fix it! Go fix the water treatment thing! Fix it right away! But yeah, can I just get... Yeah. Just so they have some things to, say, drink from. And stuff. And some, wait, that was a feeding station? Oh, that, I thought that was water. Okay, here's some water. Wait, what is the range of that again? Okay, so I should put water like over here. Because I assume it'll connect to that water pipe. Or that freaking thing over there. Whatever the thing's called. Okay, vet research is complete. We should be able to give them that one enrichment item. I don't know what the rules are for this staying fresh, but like, let's put it down here and see what happens, I guess. Um, vet research. Let's see here. I'll turn my camera back on for now. Is what we do. Yes, let's continue researching the antelope. So, do we have some things available now? Like, some food enrichment items. Do we have that? So, let's see here. Habitat. Enrichment items. For food. Aha! Aha! Sweet! Okay. So now they very much like their habitat. I might even be able to increase their food quality. Let's do it. Okay. Hopefully I don't run myself broke somehow. They really like my couple of grizzlies that I have over there. I know there's so much litter in the park. I know. I knows about it. 
Oh, they are? Oh crap, I completely forgot. Fine, we'll let them have the one kiddo. But like... Maybe we'll let them have the one. So now they're expecting offspring. So they just kind of rub their heads against each other? For this, for this game for that? Yes, let's do that. Fine, I'll let them have the one kiddo. But then from there... From there, no more. This is the only male here, so now he shouldn't be able to make any more, at least. There's a donation bin here, right? Oh, maybe I should get another. Maybe another, though. Like that. Whoa! You should totally... Oh, they're pulling out phones to take pictures. You should totally put money in the donation bin. Facility having significant negative effects on guests. What? Which one? This one? Do they see it? I guess they do. Hmm. Can I move it back anymore? So that they don't see it? I don't want it to be on the grid. Um, I can put like some trees around it and stuff. Oh crap. It's snowing! Ye what? Where's trees? Where's some like trees for this area? Okay. I don't want them to see the water treatment thing because the guests don't like it when they see it for some reason. Oh my goodness. We got some heavy snow now. Oh, even the trees get a snowy effect on them. That's great attention to detail. Oh, that's really cool. Okay, so they're all hiding out to... Yeah, they don't like the terrain at all right now because it's snowing. But once the snow is done, they should be okay. Oh my. So yeah, the grizzlies are hanging out in there. Make one more wall of glass here. Potentially. For people to see right there. And then... Donation bin like here. Maybe, maybe. Oh, my arm's getting sore. Oh, that snowy effect is so cool. Oh, that's awesome. I love that. That's really cool. Are there any other staff facilities that I need, like, back here? Like, there's the transformer. Is there anything around here that actually needs power? Okay, so that area is power. This here looks pretty darn awesome. I mean, most of the scenery around here was just pre-built. The only things that I've added are, like, these two exhibits and that's it. So I'm not very good, but hello, hello, obscurity. Welcome to the shenanigans. Is that a hiccup profile picture that I spot? Am I seeing it right? Because I mean, they're pretty small in the chat there, so I can't for sure tell. But that would be my random guess. But slowly but surely, things are coming together here. So I think... Is there already a transformer over here? Hold on. Or there's just one automatically by, like, the entrance, so that area doesn't need power or anything. I don't think that there's anything over here that would need power. But, uh... So we could do it. Pre-built or not, it still takes a vision to put it all together nicely. Eh! <laughs> All I've really added are the two exhibits and like some trees and stuff and like this little bit here. <laughs> so we're uh, slowly figuring things out bit by bit. So I could do another one here and then that'll be my bronze objective complete. And then we can potentially find space for a uh, visiting player. Interesting. Oh yeah, I need to put down education stuff. I just realized. I just realized my park is not very educational at all. In fact, maybe if I make some space here. Make some, okay, looks like the snow is gone now, so it's gonna start slowly melting. I need to get these guests all edumacated and stuff. Maybe if I pull these back to make some space there for educational things. I completely forgot. Um, let's see here. 
Exhibit education board. Here, get smarter, get knowledge. Here, have the knowledge. You guys too, you can have more no wait. This is a board one. Oh, to put like the sign on too, I remember now. So we can do this. I hate how it starts out like this. How do I get the free movement? Okay, so there's that. Shift is that. Z is that. Caps doesn't do anything. Alt is nothing. Tab is who knows. I'll just place it down first and then edit it from here. Advanced move. This is what we'll do. I hate how you need to literally be this specific to uh, put this stuff together though. Ah, oh, well, is what it is. <laughs> it might be a little crooked. Maybe, maybe. Maybe, maybe. I think you need the board ones for the enclosures, the rectangle ground ones for the small square things like insect drift. Oh, I think you're right. Now that I'm remembering that first tutorial, I think you're probably right. I'll try that small one. Dang it! Come on! It didn't save? <laughs> Dang it! Why you do this to me? Let's see. My goodness. There's boards with pre-attached TVs? Oh, that's good to know. <laughs> I'll look for that one next, but for now, we're uh, doing that. Aha, saved at that time. So, oh, it's not powered, so I do need a, it's just outside of the range, isn't it? Educational content, grizzly bear, but it needs power. Where the heck am I gonna put a generator around here? What if I hide it back here? Is this a thing that I can do? Hold on, so facilities. Um, utilities, transformer. <laughs> it's just outside of that range. <laughs> oh, it's so saddening. I could even put one like here. As long as I don't use that in like an enclosure or something. If I put it here, it would at least... It oh, wait. But if I put this... Oh, dang, it wouldn't cover that one at the bottom though. Dang it. Hold on. <laughs> How best to manage this? I could potentially put it down here and then have like a winding path up to it. Maybe, maybe. Hmm. So that's the front. So put it like back here. And then I'm going to try to hide it. My entire screen went black for a second. I was so confused. I, at first I thought the game crashed. Oh, crap. No, move it. How do I deselect the grid? Move without... No. Take off the grid. Fine. It's there now. <laughs> Path. Surely the tree will hide it. And guess won't care too much. So now this should be powered, right? Top right click exit group. Well, too late now. <laughs> it's upside down! <laughs> So he's having a significant negative impact. Where? <laughs> oh man, I would fix it, but it's also kind of funny upside down, honestly. Okay, yeah, I think this is probably for like the smaller exhibits. I can try assigning it to a, uh, yeah, I can't. All right, I do need one of the signs then. So, I need some educational content here. Oh, <laughs> let's see here. It's for the bears down in Australia, exactly. <laughs> my oh my. Yeah, there is the... Yeah. I should have realized that earlier. Whoops. Whoopsie doopsie. Fun fact! Like, this is the second time I've streamed this game. The first time, since the video still exists on YouTube and all that, I had a comment on, like, the archived, like, way after it was done live stream of my first stream where I did something like this for one of the tutorial levels and somebody commented, I came here to find out how to like properly fa like place the signboards, you didn't help. And I think I responded with something like, a YouTuber didn't deliver something that they never promised? Unbelievable, I better write a comment and let them know. I think that's what I responded with, I think. There, look, 
How about that as damaged barriers? It does. Um, call mechanic. I don't know. Oh my goodness, it's way damaged. Mechanic, get there and fix it. Wait, he did fix these ones too, right? Oh my goodness, I'm gonna need a mechanic there too. Maybe I should hi maybe it's about time to hire another mechanic, I'm thinking. Is what I'm starting to think here. <laughs> Say how dare you not deliver on your non-existent promises. For shame. For shame. How dare he. <laughs> Gonna write an angry comment about this. Just gotta let them know. <laughs> my oh my. So unless they deleted that comment, I'm pretty sure that still exists on that one. Alright, we need more educational contact. Contact? I can't words today. Holy crap. More educational content so that they can learn all about the grizzly bears. Bam. I know there's high about to litter. I know. So educational speaker. Will these be like linked to the signs or something? Do I put should I put it on the back of here? Whoa. With a speaker like on the back here. Do I need to actually assign it to a sign? Can I put speakers on the back of like all these? Okay, so it looks like he's fixing the barrier here. I think. I'm fairly certain that's what he's doing. Wait, it shows a heat map for education? Where they can get edumacated? Where they can get smarts? Oh, it's dark! Do I assign it to a board? Oh, I just educational content grizzly brave. Okay. Freaking get smart. Look at this. Bam! They're gonna start getting smart now. Now there's the speakers on the back. Wah! Get you edumacation. Bam! Consider yourself edumacated. Cool. I know there's high amounts of litter. Is this barrier getting repaired? Okay, it looks like it is going up. It was at 19% before. So, uh, <laughs> we'll get there. What facility is having a negative effect? That one, and this one. Aw, oh, dang, it is too close to the guest still. It has like an AOE thing. Dang it. I'm moving this. So, what was I looking for to remove it from the grid? Oh, let me look up here. Um, top right click exit group. Oh. Oh, she's nice. <laughs> Thank goodness chat still exists like after the fact okay uh oh bam i guess i'll delete this path over here this is what i'll do um path where's like one of the natural ones oh uh, sure sure and then that'll help whatever facilities are over here in the future, I guess. Oop. Um, wait. Heat maps. Okay, it's just in range to have educational content over here. T oh, crap. But that means I'm gonna need another one, like, over here. <laughs> oh, crap. Okay, hold on. One more. Because I'll need it for a an exhibit over here, too. Freaking transformer so that's the front cool Whoa. so we can have it like over here at that edge or something and then hopefully it's a little area of effect won't screw me too much oh unbelievable freaking Bam! Okay. Happy now? Cool. Hopefully it doesn't have like a negative impact on guest heat maps. Sweet! Awesome! And then we can have this as like another staff area with a whole bunch of facilities. Maybe even have some food and drink. And then we'll have another enclosure right there. Sweet. I know there's high amounts of litter. I know. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Are my barriers repaired? Are they? Oh, heck yeah. Oh, heck yeah, they are. Um. Let's see. Um. Whoops. That's not what I wanted to do. 
Alright, so you're continuing to research that. We do have a couple mechanics. So we're researching some barriers there. We can figure out some more facility stuff. That's what we can do with some research. Cool. I love the music of this game. It's great. It's so relaxing. Okay, so what kind of exhibit would I want over there? I know there's high amounts of litter. I know. What kind of animal would we want over there? What could be in a small area? Like the crocs, I think, are going to go up here where there's lots of water. I think. What? I know there's high amounts of litter. It's not for having to queue to use the workshop. Mmm. So I'm going to have to build another workshop over here. Oh. So we're getting another antelope now. Right? Just said that you're gonna have offspring. But yeah, there's contraceptives for the one male here now, so I mean. Offspring imminent, it says. Like right now imminent? Do I? I got an achievement that you can't see because I'm using game capture. As you've been unlocked, life finds a way. We've got another antelope now. It's a male one, so I'm gonna have to pay attention to give you, like, contraceptives later. Look, we have another, another antelope. 0, 0.0 years old. Look at that. What's having significantly negative effects? Who knows? Alright, we're researching more antelope. Okay, what is small-ish? Like, what doesn't need a lot of space that we could throw in there? Actually, I mean, that's a decent amount of space, actually. I mean, that's a decent amount of space. What kind of... Not wolves. Wolves are going to have down by, like, the watery area as well. There's lemurs, but, like, I'm scared about them jumping the freaking fence or, like, climbing it. I mean, I could use some of the non-climbable ones. Um... We got some peafowls. For chance. Let's see here. Okay, so I... Don't have any reason to put them with other... Other nerds. 4 to 20, up to 4 males, up to 16 females. Okay, so we can have a lot of them, even. Okay. Let's do peafowls. There's no way they climb the freaking fence, so we should be able to use the climbable one just fine. Right? Should be able to. So let's see here. Let's get a barrier prepared. Why is that highlighted down there? Um... If I was breathed like there's no tomorrow, so I'm gonna have to pay attention to contraceptives in that case. Wah. Let's see here. I don't know why it highlights that. I have no idea. Um. Hmm. So maybe I'll start this thing over, like, here. And go with like five meters or something. 5.02. Sure. Uh, that thing is distracting. No! Stop! <laughs> stop that this instant, please. Okay. Okay, let's put some walls around here. This is what we do. Whoa. Sure, we can have some up the hill as well. Like, I can potentially replace some of this with glass and, uh, have it go around. Maybe I won't have this right against the path anymore. We can make space for, like, the donation bins and the, uh... Uh oh. Space for donation bins plus... Oh, wait. Why is this game so weird sometimes? And educational stuff. Oh, I still need to put educational stuff by the freaking antelopes. That's what I still need to do. Whoops. I should remember to do that. And we can have, like, that. Okay. Let's put that educational stuff down, like, right now. Make you less dumb. <laughs> Let's see here. Um, alright. Consider yourselves... Which way is this facing? What? Okay, so that way. Um, <laughs> consider yourselves edumacated in a hot second. Edumacation. Cool. 
Maybe I'll put some speakers down too. Ambient speaker? No idea what that's supposed to be. Not a clue. Huh, right on the back. Oh yeah, I was gonna build a workshop in a hot second, wasn't I? For my mechanics to do some more research or whatever the heck. Whoa. Here. Antelopes. Oh. <laughs> that is not where I thought it was. I can just put it on the ground. Screw it. <laughs> ground it is. Many guests think tickets are underpriced. Oh, for like entry fee to the park or something? Wait. Oh, that selected the legs for some reason. How do I select the board? I grabbed the board without the thing, didn't I? Without the actual screen. Consider yourself educated. Okay. Let's see here. This one. Jeez. Bam. Another one. I was so confused for a hot second. I was like, why can't I assign anything here? Okay. So, this goes here. Like that. And then, you're edumacated now. Get edumacated. Get less dumb. There, done. Look, edumacation. Isn't that cool? Oh, but they're commonly viewing there. Maybe I should move this. Maybe I should move it to, uh... Oh, crap. Screw it, we're destroying them both. So people commonly view there, huh? Let's see. Edumacation. Bam. Oh, I guess they commonly go to both, sort of, huh? Maybe I will put another one down here in that case. Wait, wrong button. Alright. Knowledge! Share the knowledge! I'll put the speaker on the ground, whatever. Actually. So that's its AoE, huh? Right there. Right there. And then I can have one here, too. Bam. Antelopes. Cool. Look at that. Didn't I have a sign over here? Did I not? Well. Guess we're putting one down here now. Educational board. Radiant boop. Knowledge. Look at all this knowledge. Bam. Bam, look at that. So much knowledge. So much knowledge to share now. Isn't that cool? How do I adjust the entry fee anyway? Um, oh, they're like three bucks, huh? I can make it say five. For now. Okay. Yeah, they're having to queue up, so I can start making this a staff area over here. So, let's see. Staff facilities. Oh, we should make a keeper hut over here as well. Uh, yeah, we can make a few things. But I think we'll do. Do I already have one of these? There's an inspector. Hold on. Um, yeah, I already have one at the end there. And they're expensive. So here's another workshop. So maybe I will have path. Hold on. Hmm. So yeah, I can make, say, a keeper hut. I kind of want to do, like, a kind of ring around here. Like, like this around, and then we can have, like, facilities within that. Is kind of what I'm leaning towards here. There's a... What? There's a keeper hut. And then we can have a... Research center. 
Yeah, we can have this like going around. Bring it around town. That's a keeper hut. We can have a staff room. Oh, this one's long. That's a long one, ain't it? Where's the workshop? Here it is. Yeah, something like this going around is what I'm imagining. Okay. We have a keeper hut. We have a research center. We don't have the staff room because it's the long one. Oh, but we should be able to put it here now. Whoops. It's really long. Holy crap. Something like this. And then we have space for other things if I need them. What else is down here? That I might have wanted over there. Oh, freaking! Let me zoom in! So there's the keeper hut. There's quarantine. There's... Um, staff room, quarantine, keeper hut, animal trade. I don't think I need an animal trade up there. I mean, could be nice to have anyway, but, uh, yeah, this is kind of what I'm thinking for this little area over here. Where is natural path? I guess it's this kind, huh? Dang. Yeah, I want it to not connect automatically. And then we can have, say... Dang, really? Okay. Really wish this could have been flat. Hold on. Hmm... Well, that's unfortunate. That one's gonna be a little bit different than the others. Look at that. And then maybe I can potentially fit some guest things in here, like the... Let's see here. Guest facilities. For the shells. Let's see here. Yeah, I tried using it a bit. I had to do that originally already, considering it's floating a little bit above the, above the ground. It didn't seem like using it, unfortunately. Was able to help me out. Sad times. So yeah, we can have, like, food and drink there, by chance. If I need any other- oh, I can put my power thing, like, right back there, if need be. Hmm. So we can have, like, food and drink stuff. Yeah, I can assign a different work roster to here. Which one? Which one is? That one, huh? Dang, if only I could put it just a little bit further back! Ah! Can it go slightly further back? Floating bells would just have to be one of your zoo's novelties, guess so. Guess we'll just have that floating a little bit. Obstructed. Oh. It's a little bit further back now. <laughs> is it just far enough back? Is the question. Also, I should save before I forget. Oh, maybe I did save my other tutorial ones, but it just only shows the ones that are like the current scenario, huh? Interesting. Well, I know I saved the tutorial one from earlier today. Okay. So. Okay. Let's see here. When it comes to this, if we make a gate, we can have a thing, like, here. Okay. I love the music of this game. Boop. Cool. Now, let's see here. We need some glass. This is what we need. Something like this. Maybe some here too. Yeah. Something like that. We can have like a height view over here. Cool. Yeah, maybe that works. Here, this will just be for the pea fowls to see. <laughs> I guess. They can just see over here. I suppose. 
That's what I'm leaning towards right now. Now we just need one more habitat species in the zoo. I don't know why it keeps highlighting that one down there. Alright, so bit by bit, we're having things come together here. Bit by bit, so we have like the one staff area down here, here's gonna be staff and facility area number two. Um, I'll have to put down some washrooms and stuff. Maybe I'll put peafowls in here first, that way like, people will actually want to come there. Okay, got some more barrier research. Um, is there anything else that I want to research here? Power? Oh, for like solar panels and stuff. Maybe I'll, uh, research some of that. Oh wait, but then you should be on that. Okay. Okay, also, let's see, these mechanics here. Why is this one's salary, like, freaking leagues higher? Salary is based on role and training level. Oh, so it automatically did. I'm used to Planet Coaster where you have to do it yourself. So it'll automatically increase their wage for, for their training is what you're telling me. That's good to hear. There's my one vet who I can bring to five stars. Okay. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Man, the music's so good. Alright, let's see here. How about some peafowls in there? I don't think that they benefit from, uh... The interspecies thing, do they? Yeah, they don't. So. Also, there's only three available here now. Maybe I do need some to breed for a while. Maybe I do. Sure. I'll get a few. Let's get them here. Cool. And then we can throw them into here. Um. Yeah, so I'll have this be its own other work zone. If I add another exhibit over here, this will be part of that work zone or whatever the heck. This will be like... My freaking... Can't click on you? Okay, there we go. Yeah, this can be like the antelope and peafowl kind of area then. So this will all be designated towards. Oh, and crocs, so it'll it'll be those three in that case. Okay. Um. <laughs> I'll need to have another transformer down if I want to have educational stuff by crocs later. Is the thing. Hmm. Let's see. Oh. Oh. Okay. And inspector's leaving zoo. We got five stars in each. Cool. Um, hold on. Let's look at our staff. So you're by entrance and grizzlies. I know it says entrace. Work zone two. What's work zone two? Hold on. Work zone two is nothing. Okay. So work zone two, I think I'm going to designate to this area. Like that. That'll be work zone number two. And it'll include that, how about? So yeah, you can have this area. Mr. Keeper. Um, Let's see here. And I'll assign one mechanic to each. So you can be by entrance and grizzlies and then... Hold on. Whoa, 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 wait. How do I destroy these now? You can have work zone two. I want to change the name of it. I don't know how to change the name of it anymore. Oh, right here. Um, so this will be freaking antelope, freaking antelopes, um, peafowls, I don't know how to spell it, crocs, that area. So we'll add that to the work zone later. Oh, here, I can delete those. I thought I just changed this name. Freaking antelopes, peafowls. Crocs. It'll be Crocs later. So. Let's see here. Staff. Um. So you can be assigned to that area then. We can have a keeper in each. 
the lops. Jeez, I can't freaking spell today. Holy crap. <laughs> we got entrace and grizzlies and antelops. Beefowl's crocs. <laughs> oh, man. My goodness. My, oh my. You guys stick by the entrance. I'll get some others that go around the other one. And then vet. So you can buy entrace and grizzlies. And then we can add... And another vet to this other work zone. So let's see here. So let's add... And then they'll also be able to research some other things too. So let's add another vet who can research some things over here. And then new vet. I will assign you to Antelops. Beefowl's Crocs. You can chill in this area. How about... Did I hire two? Or is this just my other one? What? We got more research into our antelopes, as I apparently spell them. Okay, so we do just have the two. Oh, uh, we can start researching some of these diseases just in the off chance that we have to run into one. Oh, I'll be able to research the peafowls shortly. By shortly, I mean, like, right now. Hold on, let's see here. In storage. Let's see here. Oh, should I put them through quarantine first? Is that what I should do? Just to be like extra safe? Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's put them through quarantine. Like this. Okay. I'll wait for them to go through quarantine actually then. Um, yeah. I should get some benches ready here. I'll make like some food and drink stuff. So facilities. Let's see here. Food stalls. What does information do in this game? What do information centers even do in this one? I know what they do in Planet Coaster. I know what they do in Roller Coaster Tycoon games. I don't know what they do in Planet Zoo, though. Oh, maybe I should have researched some other food places to add, like, some variety. In fact, maybe I'll do that. It's a mechanic research, right? Yeah, that's gonna take a little while to research, huh? Yeah, so we can get another one of each. Wait, do we already have a different type of drink stall that I can put in? I just want different things for variety facilities. Um, no, we still only have like the one drink place and the one food place. All right, so we'll be researching those. Maybe I'll even give my mechanics some training so that they can research things a little bit better. Yeah, let's do that. What? Yeah, what? Um, call vet. Oh, you broke my walls! Freaking call mechanic. Can I box you up for now? So that you don't get out? Okay, you're boxed up. And you'll be boxed up too. We need a mechanic here, like right now. Mechanic is being requested, apparently. I'm continuing to drop some frames. Maybe I should turn down my bitrate a little bit more. So that this isn't like a slideshow. Output. I'll change it to like 5,500 kilobytes per second instead of 6,000. Maybe that'll help it a little bit. I don't know. I can't believe they broke down my freaking barrier. What? They didn't fix it. Oh. What? What? This right here. Oh, don't put them back in right now. Oh, what the? Okay, we've got like extra wall here now. I don't understand how to fix this. Quarantine pass, ready to leave. Oh, like that, I guess. Yeah, I'll need a mechanic to fix this wall. Barrier status. What about this one? Because we haven't checked it in a while. Let's call a mechanic again. Over here. Yeah, okay, let's have my mechanic to get on those. Because they are going to immediately get out of there. Run. Run. Run like the wind, bullseye. Get that freaking barrier repaired. We'll come back to that in a second. For now, I think I'm going to... Neat. Oh, this one's diseased. Okay. So it's very good that we... Uh, put you through quarantine. Very good. So that one's going to be treated in there, I suppose. 
Okay. Let's see here. I can work on some educational stuff here. Um, yeah. Let's grab this. Put it like here. I have like a speaker at the bottom. Just because that's an easy place to have it. Then we can have one like here. Cool. Um, oh yeah, there's transport rides that work, that I guess work the same way as they do in Planet Coaster, like the transport rides in that. Hmm. I should build one of those at some point. Man, such good music. Where's the donation bins again? I've completely forgotten. Holy crap. It's in facilities, right? Right here, yeah. Cool. Oh, that antelope is about to mature. I should probably give you contraceptives pretty soon then. All right, so the pea fowls are coming in. Let's see here. Don't pay attention to that, I suppose. All righty. We got one pea fowl in there so far. I'll have another one momentarily. So this should make three habitat species momentarily. Let's see here. So we need some hard shelter. Attacked. That's gonna be very important. I'll turn off my camera so it doesn't block things. Beds and shelters. We have one like here. Bam! Probably gonna need more later anyway, so just be prepared for that like right now. This is what we do. Oh yeah, I'm gonna need some research into fowls now. Is the thing. So we can do that, and then we can do this. And give that other vet some training. This is the case. Cool. Because I don't think we have any enrichment items yet. Indian peafowl, huh? And they are both. They're both males. The female one is in quarantine right now. Because they're diseased, so we're waiting on that. Oh, quarantine passed! Ready to, uh, come here. Okay. Let's move you into here. And for now, let's look at this. So what do you need? Yeah, so for enrichment. For... The Indian peafowls. Let's see here, Indian peafowl for enrichment items. Don't really have a whole lot right now. We can put that there. We don't have any food enrichment. Do I need water over here? Hold on. Okay, that'll reach over into there. Dangerous fighting for alpha status. What? Where what? Where? Oh, here. I don't know why you didn't guide me over to here. Oh, this is the one that... This was the new one. Okay, so it looks like the older one is probably still gonna stay alpha then. And that's the younger one that I just gave contraceptives. Okay. I'll refrain on contraceptives over here so that we get some more pea fowls momentarily. Um... So they should have toy enrichment, just not food enrichment. We'll need to do some research for that. Terrain needs to be brought up. How is this not done? I have three habitat species in the- Oh, wait. I didn't unbox my bears, did I? Is the barrier repaired? Heck yeah, it is. Unbox. Done. Done. Wow. Looks like we already have a zoo, don't we? <laughs> Neat. That was fast. You're doing me proud, See. you know. I'll be honest. When I first pictured entrusting someone else to build a zoo, I always imagined that was it my would problem. be my child doing it. I, I guess it wasn't to be, huh? Neat. Unless... I don't suppose you're Again? open to being adopted, are you? <laughs> oh, Fighting again? I almost forgot. Now you've completed your first lot of jobs, or bronze objectives, as Nancy likes to say. 
You can, if you wish, move on to the next zoo. Hmm. Obviously, I'd prefer that you stayed on here and took care of the rest of those objectives. But I can yep. certainly understand the desire to keep moving onwards and upwards, just like an escalator. Or a, a downwards escalator, which is going the wrong way. <laughs> my, oh my. I don't even see them fighting for Alpha over here. I don't even see that. Anyway, so yeah, silver objectives are have at least five habitat species and have at least two exhibit species. So next time that we hop into this, we'll be completing the peafowl area. We'll probably be adding the crocodile area. And going from there, I think. I Me mean, thinks. But for now, I'm gonna save and wrap this up. I've been streaming for nearly four hours now. It has been quite a bit. We made some good progress. So next time I stream this, we'll wrap up this park, maybe even move on to the next one from there. Just a nice, slow, steady pace of, you know, just relaxing and chilling and stuff. And making some progress here. This is a pretty nice, chill game, I must say. I'm losing so much cash. Like, we started with 80k. So uh, I'm gonna have to figure out how to make that back before I go into freaking debt in this park. But yeah. We've made some good progress on developing this here. I'm starting to get the feel for Planet Coaster. Not Planet Coaster, Planet Zoo. I'm starting to get the feel for this game, bit by bit. I'm dropping frames again. That sucks. <laughs> I'm once again dropping frames. I'm starting to understand this game, bit by bit. Starting to get the feel for it. I just got Achievement Unlock Trainer. Oh, I guess I must have trained somebody to, like, max, like, five stars, one of my vets or something. Anyway, I am going to save once again now that I guess somebody's trained to max. And I'm going to wrap up this stream here is what I think I will do. Next time we'll be finishing up this part. Okay, let's exit to main menu. Made some good progress. How many parks are in this game? Let me check before we wrap things up. How many have we even got? I wonder. What have we oh yeah, my freaking Steam name right now. Yeah, so we unlocked the Great Caldera Safari Park. Built on the site of a long dormer volcano, Great Caldera Safari Park is Bernard Goodwin's ode to safaris, featuring animals from all over Africa, with, which happily roam their expensive habitats. The park is currently in a state of development, with some attractions only half complete. Are you the right person to take them over the finish line? Looks like it goes up to there, and then there's like a couple DLC ones. Interesting. Alright, 10 out of 42 stars. So we still gotta get these ones. I only got the bronze so far. So we're making progress. I definitely want to get wolves in the park. That would be very, very nice. But yeah, for now, I will be wrapping things up. This is a pretty neat game. It's taking a little while to learn, but we're making progress on learning. For now, I'm gonna head out of here, so see ya.